This is the Say It Can't Gamer, and you are live with the MMA Home! Mixed Martial A-Holes! MMA From the Queen Studios of New York, UFC Rushes finally here. Hunt versus All in It. We're reacting with the MMA. Oh! Yeah! What's up? Wonderful, wonderful. Apologies for us being late. Some technical difficulties, but we are live, ready to roll for Hunt versus Olenek. There's a fight going on right now. Check this out. Boom. Khalid Murtazaliv versus CB Dalloway. CBD. CBD, CBD, CBD. A nice early card over here. The last fight of the preliminaries. And then we're going to take you into the main card on Fight Pass. Jesse, you pumped up for Russia? I'm super pumped for Russia. Super duper, super duper pumped. All right, well, here we go. This is how this works. We have the casting couch in the background, so if you want to jump on that couch and get molested, it's right there. Um, we have a timer over here that we did not start yet, so I'm going to start that timer. On this fight, it is three, two, five, and you can sync up with us. So we got Dalloway versus Mertzaleev. How do you say his name, Jesse? Go for it. Um, Mertzaleev. Mertzaleev. Mertiz Aliyev. Mertiz Aliyev. Yeah. Anyway, we um yeah. Unfortunately, we had some technical difficulties, but we're going and flowing strong right now, and it's good to see our friends nice and early today. Um, I got to say this. Looking at this card over here, some people are like ah, I'm gonna pass, but you got Russia, you got the UFC, and it's about fucking time. You know, it's about time we see this action going on over here. Uh, Dalloway looks like he's in a little bit of trouble as he just got taken down by Khalid. Dalloway has the neck, though, of Khalid. Let's see if he gets something going with that. Does it look tight enough, Jesse? Guillotine. Guillotine. Oh, wait, no. He has his arm up. Maybe he's going to go for a Dars. Uh, Dalloway's still going for the neck, still attacking the neck. But it looks like Khalid's going to slip out. Welcome to the show. Welcome, Russians. Where's my Russians at? Jesse, you see any Russians in there? In, in there. Oh, in there. <laughs> uh, any Russians in there? Or in no, here? No, not yet. No? Let me see. Russians? Are you here yet? If you are, reveal yourselves. I'll wait. Russians? Jesse, you see any Russians in there? Michael Fletcher Jr. says hello. Maybe he's Russian. What up, Michael? The big meme boy says, Marta Zuck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Flatter Deacon says, come on, CB. And H, Ethan Shear, good morning. Alfish says, no BBC on the main card. I better see fucking tits soon or I riot from boredom. Hmm. Interesting. Wonderful, wonderful. Roy Jimenez is Mexican. He sure is. Ethan Shear says, gay goose Rick is a fucking Russian. Plumus yeah. Master says, guillotine and darts are the only chokes she knows. The dart. No, it's the dart it's choke. the dart. The dart choke. Uh, by the way, the Khalid is going for another takedown over here. Grabs the double on Dalloway. Dalloway trying to get back up to the feet and does. We are on the last fight of the preliminary. So let me just explain what happened last night. We uh, went to Triton Fights. Triton Fights is a local organization over here. Chris Machi. Shout out to Chris. Shout out to uh, our sponsor as well, Tiger Life Energy. We got ARN Insulation and Duplex Entertainment. But Tiger Life standing out a little bit because they were the, uh, the big cheese, the big sponsors for the event last night at Triton Fights. Mm -hmm. um, we went to the after party. We met, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, Ally Quinta, who came on the show last night. What did you yep. think about that, Ally Quinta? That was really cool. I'd seen Sterling one time in the past, but it's, it's always interesting. It's always fascinating to see a UFC fighter that you're used to seeing on screen, like standing right in front of you. It's a, it's a once in a lifetime moment. 
Well, not with us. We see them a lot, so it's, it's more true. than once. Well, it's once multiple in, times in a lifetime. <laughs> once in a lifetime for each fighter that you meet, right? Mm. <laughs> once in a lifetime for <laughs> Al. Once in a lifetime for Al Jermaine. Well, we see them a lot. I mean, if you go to Triton fights, the Long Island guys, uh, Longo, it's Jim, and Matt Sarah. So you, you peeps might uh, be familiar with those two. Uh, by the way, Longo is in Russia right now. His boy won. Uh, congratulations to him. I'm not sure who uh, he was representing, but he was representing someone. Uh, Ally Quinta was all pumped up because his boy won last night. And this round is over. Let's reset the clock over here. Dalloway looking to be in a little bit of trouble with that round. All right, here we go. Five on the clock. Here we go. So, yeah, it was cool to see Raging Al. Raging Al Iaquinta. Yeah. I mean, I've met him a couple of times already. And this is the first time we were able to get him on the show. And we kind of ambushed him. He came on and he spoke about his uh, training partner who won last night. Shout out to, uh, what the fuck was his name again? I forgot the guy's name. <laughs> who the fuck won? And we, 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 apologies if you're watching this. We, uh, we ran into you last night and we can't remember your fucking name. What was his name, Jesse? Um... Yeah, keep guessing. Uh, Main events. Came back in the third round, knocked him out. It was Ajim versus, oh no, no. Simote versus Montello. Montello, that's right. Montello got the win last night. He was down two to zip, and then boom, the third round, he knocks out Timote. Fantastic stuff. Timote, that's how you say it, right? Yeah. Timote. He um, did a great job. We were talking to him afterwards. He He's looking to get to the big leagues. He's looking to get some big fights under his belt in the near future, get back into cage real quick. But he trains with Raging Al Iaquinta. And Raging Al came on last night saying that he is fighting Kevin Lee, which is what, UFC 232, I think. I don't. I forgot what event he said it was. I think it was 232. Sure. Fact check. <laughs> Jesse. I'll fact check. <laughs> but yeah, I think it is. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, and we asked him, are you going to take care of business again? And he goes, I hope so. A typical Raging Al response, right? I hope so. I hope it happens. Um, you know? You're going to knock him out? I hope so. You know, it's the best. I like Quinta. Let me know what the ones in the chat if you want to see Raging Al on the show for an official interview in studio or something like that. All right. So Marta Zaliv versus Dalloway is in the second round right now. Going down strong. Rusha, the preliminary headliner over here. A nice early card to hang with the boys. Right? Hang it with the boys. 30 in New York. Oh, it is in New York? Yeah. It no says, shit. Well, he says he's up for fighting Lee at EOC 230 in November in New York. Does a fight between Ally Quinta and Kevin Lee interest you? Wait, wait, is it? Well, he Al, Al confirmed it. Is it 230? Yeah. Is it on the card? Hold on. Let's go over the UFC 230 over here. Hmm. Yeah, it's already on, Ole. The uh, headlining preliminary fight. Is going down right now, and here's two two nine fire. Only what 22, 21 days left for that. Scroll through over here, and thank you for joining us on a nice early stream. What do you guys say about these early streams? You want more of these early reaction streams or just early um, podcasts? Let me know in the chat if you're down for that. Uh, what am I doing? Let's go to schedule. Oh, Dalloway doing some work, getting the back. Dalloway's got the back now in the second round, doing some work. Nope, he's not on 2.30. Why am I... What am I doing here? I hit schedule, right? Let's go up at UFC.com. There we go. All right, we scroll down. He's not on 2.30, right? Interesting. Yeah, I thought he said 2.32. I'm almost positive. I got to go back. I almost, I, I'm almost positive he said 2.32. Hey, guys and gals. We got 20 likes. 20 likes. Twenty likes. We got forty likes. Twenty likes. Twenty likes. I've got fucking twenty likes. Twenty likes. Twenty likes. I've got fucking twenty likes. Twenty likes. Twenty likes. I've got fucking twenty likes. I hope the dislikes die of lip. All right, we got seventy-five people watching the MMA holes react to a fight over here. Dolly back. On his back, and Murta Zaliv is on top now, mounting so, Dalloway. 232 is the Cyborg versus Nunez title fight, mm -hmm. but there's nothing on here about Al versus Lee. So are you sure it's confirmed? Al said it's happening. It is happening? He did say it's happening. Did mm. you Google I Quinta versus Kevin Lee? He did, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, he said it's happening. He says it's a go. So maybe we broke the story. 
but maybe it's it's made official on the MMA holes. <laughs> I was gonna ask you about Gaethje, and he just immediately <laughs> said, "No, Kevin Lee is gonna happen." So look at that, we broke the news. Early's awesome. So Gary Banjo sandwich is in. Flat Earth claps and gives a thumbs up. All right, Khalid still working on Dalloway. A nice knee to the body by Khalid. Dalloway gets back up to the feet, and Khalid dumps him back to the ground. Dalloway's face is busted open. The headlining fight of the preliminaries going down. Who do you have in the chat? Do you have interest in Triple G versus Canelo Alvarez? Let me know with the ones or the yes, sir. Yes, sir. Or the twos with the no's. Oh, no, no, you? No, I, I do. We're going to a party tonight. I don't know if we're going to be able to watch it. We'll see. We'll sneak it. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe. Uh, hey, Gary, how was your birthday? Yeah, Gary Banjo Sandwich. Birthday. Oh, man. Khalid is doing work. He might finish Dalloway. There's 48 seconds left. Dalloway is covering up, and Khalid is opening up. Hammer fist. A right. Another right. Khalid doing some work on Dalloway. Dalloway just trying to stay alive with 35 seconds left. Herb Dean looks a little bit closer. He's like, I'm going to stop this fight. Dalloway's not fighting back. He is not fighting back. Mm -hmm. Covering up. Khalid is just throwing shots. Dalloway gave up his back. They should stop this. They should stop. He's hurt. They stop the fucking fight. Stop the fight. What are we doing here? Dalloway's not even fighting back. What are we doing? Stop the fucking fight. What are we doing? Holy shit. Dalloway is getting mutilated. He is not even... Well, he's hitting his gloves. Is that intelligently defending himself? What it... Oh, my God. The round is over or did he stop the fight? Herb Dean's looking at him. The round is over. Herb Dean looks at him. Is like, are you right, buddy? Staring at... Wow. Look at this. Dalloway looks at his corner and goes, not... I think Dalloway just... Herb Dean, what just happened? What was Herb Dean doing? What was Herb Dean doing? Dalloway's <laughs> on his knees. Can't even get to the bench. Now Herb Dean stops the fight. What the fuck? Oh my god. Khalid wins. Herb Dean, he just zoned so, out. Uh, so uh, he wins by knockout. Like PKO? What so just what happened? Is, what that was. He win by? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> By a stoppage? Canelo's there my there son. wasn't really a stoppage. Uh, this was a complete brain fart by Herm, Herb Dean. Dalloway was on his side, <laughs> just like this, just eating shots over and over and over again. I don't know why Herb Dean let this thing go. The blood was squirting out of his head. Khalid was just dropping bombs. He's Herb just laying there. It, dude, he looks like he's dead <laughs> on the floor. He's just laying there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. What? The, I gotta hear what they're saying. That looks like Herb Dean waved it off to me for a second, but they said, but he didn't. Because he said to see me go away, unless you get up, I'm, I'm stopping the fight. Unless you get up, I'm stopping the fight, Herb Dean said. What just happened? That was insane. What do you guys think in the chat about that? What? Herb Dean almost let Dalloway uh, die. Too much Herb Herb. <laughs> wow. He was literally right there just like... He's dead. <laughs> Let's let him die. He doesn't deserve to live. Anyway, if you're just jumping in. He's dead. <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> let her talk. JBH for commentator of the UFC. Fook, let her talk. Pablo, shut the fuck up. All right, JBH, JB, talk. <laughs> Jesus. I was still, I'm just, I was still trying to wrap my mind around what just happened in the octagon. Mm. Yeah, it, I, it's not about. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> you happy, Pablo? <laughs> that was crazy. Oh God. Wow. <laughs> Herb still the goat. Says big mean boy. What do you think? Do you think that Herb kind of dropped the ball there in the chat? Let us know. I'm surprised that the chat's not more lighting Herb on fire right now from that. That was insane. The the fight was over. I don't know what Herb was waiting for. He wanted to, to him to resurrect himself. Anyway, we're going on to the main card now. This is the next fight over here. The prelims are over, and we are watching UFC Russia. Khalid gets the murder in the second round. All right, Jesse, you pumped up for the main card. Super pumped. Mm -hmm. I, I am pumped for Olenek. I'm not going to lie. The Olenek Hunt fight, I'm pretty pumped for that. Yeah, I mean, uh, Hunt steps Arlovsky, in that's for this fight. One. 
I, you know what, Andre Orlovsky, I'm done with him. Really? I'm fucking done. Even though he he has won, right? He's, I mean, he has a long established career. You know, it looked like he was going to take a, a downslide and then wins two in a row, and then that Toy Viza fight was just uh, man, oh man, Orlovsky, is it over for Orlovsky? Will he give up after this fight over here? I don't know. Let's see. I mean, he just he just wants to keep going. He wants to keep going. So we're going to find out tonight if Orlovsky dies in the cage or we'll see. Alves versus Kunchenko is the next fight on the card. We have 100 people watching. I am going to put on. Now, this is the thing I don't understand, Jesse. Yeah. <clears throat> fight Pass. They do this weird thing that they show the preliminaries and then like, thank you for watching. And then you have to click back right we're watching on a fire stick mm -hmm. and then you have to go to the main card why can't they just show the whole thing on one stream why do because we have to go to the next one websites get extra clicks from you having to exit out and go into something else and they get paid for it but this is a paid service it's a subscribed service but they yeah. still get paid for clicks on their website do they really yes so There's no advertisement. So who's paying them? No, 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 no. Not clicks on ads. Just mm -hmm. clicks. Just interaction on the website. No, but who's so, paying for the clicks? What do you mean? Advertisers pay, pay for clicks. So who's paying the UFC So they clicks? probably have some sort of Google AdSense set up. Mm -hmm. Or if they use Google AdSense. They probably have something set up. Are you making this up? No. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you. Fact Let me know check. in the chat what you think. Fact check. Six shirts. Oh, she stole it. It's my shirt, for fuck's sake. That is, happens to be my favorite UFC shirt over here. New York. First time ever, and she swagger jacked me. But shout out to the UFC New York, Jesse. You want to stand up and do a twirl for the peeps? I'll, I'll do my hammer time dance mm -hmm. when it, when the moment calls for it. Yeah, you can do the hammer time dance. Yeah. Uh, Fight pass then changes to FSN. Get those clicks. <laughs> no, it's not on FSN. It's on Fight Pass again. It's bizarre. Yeah, I don't think that's the case though. I think no, I <laughs> websites, think, yeah, because the advertisements how pay. How is UFC Fight Pass? Um, Jimmy Mano is in the house. They say Al Pringle. Oh, look, Al Pringle up in this bitch. How about that, Al Pringle from last night from Triton Fights up in here. Hola, look. Al Pringle. Look at that, <laughs> Al Pringle. Represent. I love your hair, Queen JBH. Is Pablo? I think you have a um, a squire in the chat. You want to flip that around? Hold on a second. Hold on, JBH, here we go. Yes. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> fat, fat. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the first fight of the main card is about to get started, and it's time for Guaranteed Picks. Jesse, we have Russia versus Brazil. The first fight of the main card, Konchenko versus Alves. Yes. Alves has been around for a minute. Konchenko is 18-0-0. All right. So what do we got here? And look at this. I mean, right off the bat, the first thing you notice is a 72% KOTKO at an 18-0 in front of his hometown. I just went with a hot hand over here, Jesse. And Same. I'm going to say he's going to knock him out. I'm going for a knockout in the for on the second round, I'm going. I'm going for a knockout in the third round with the same fighter. It's the UFC debut. He's 34 years old, but I don't know. I just feel like he's going to pull the Russian swag and he's going to take out the veteran over here, Alves. We'll see. Let me know in the chat what you guys and gals think. Now, we're going to give you our guaranteed picks for the next four fights. Only four fights on the main card. So let's go. Damn, eighteen and zero. How is he not big yet? His Tominator. I don't. I don't. I mean, he is thirty four years old, so I'm assuming he was traveling around the Russian circuit and doing his thing. I like how the UFC is showcasing Russia. They have some extreme talent coming out from over there. Bellator pretty much has been doing it first, if you think about it. You know, Bellator's got some Russian killers, and now it seems like the UFC is taking a page from the Bellator book, and it's good to see them in Russia. Russia's got some hardcore fans. They got some very good fighters over there. So let me know who wins in the chat. And if you're from Russia, 
say hello to the MMA holes. What do we got here? Olympia Lowlife says, first UFC fight. Tominator says, oh, Michael Fletcher Jr. says, Russians win by TKO. Drunk Savage says, Alvis by decision. Keith Kelly, will the fight be shown? Negative. Kevin Costa says, Mark Hunt is eating KFC in the locker room right now. Tominator says, the Jimmy Manawa fight is on the same day as my 18th birthday. Yes. Can't wait. Jason91093 says, Thiago, first round, KO. Mm. Mm. First round KO. Interesting. Jason is saying Thiago for the KO. Thiago's got some pop in his hands, too. He's got a 48% KO TKO. Let's look at his statisticals as we scroll down. Thiago is still dangerous. Don't discredit this man. Mm. Looking down, he's coming off of a loss. Got knocked out. A win in the fight prior to that. And then before that, a two-fight loss. It's like a win-loss, win-loss thing going on here. You don't know. Maybe he'll get back in the win column, but I'm saying... Mm. Oh, no! 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 What up, Ann H? Ann H is here for the morning stream. Shout out to Ann H in the chat. Hope you're wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, glass chin now. Alvis by Dr. Stoppage says Team Hydra Chaos. Hmm, you think that's going to happen? You think a doctor's going to be like, no, no more fighting? Nah, I don't think we're gonna see that. No, I don't no think. We're, no, I don't think we're gonna see that for this card. I don't mm. think we're gonna see any doctor stoppages. It doesn't really happen often. So, last night we saw one. Right? Mm -hmm. Tell them what we saw last night with the savage. That was insane. He. So it was a doctor stoppage. He, <laughs> the, these two, literally almost tipped the cage in the first within the first forty seconds of their of their round, and within the last twenty seconds of the round, the savage's opponent just went ham on him and just unleashed and the savage had a cut over his left eye and it was practically blinding him they stopped to cut it or to check to check it and the doctor saw it and he was like nah he can't fight anymore and then we find out later on that he's still sitting cage side because i i think it was his leg like nobody really released too much information on it but i think it was his leg and they brought a stretcher out for the dude but he he ended up having to walk. Do you think it was too big for the stretcher? Well, first of all, I just, to the new viewers jump again, we went to an event called Triton Fights last night. They had the gentleman on the left. His name is The Savage. Uh, they, they unlocked the cage and let him in to another cage to fight this man from Florida. And man, he got beat up pretty bad. But mm -hmm. regardless, it was like a thunderous fight between these two. It was and so we much weight. We got to sit cage side for it. It was insane. It was awful. Shout out to Triton Fights over here for putting on a good show. If you're on the East Coast, and want to check out some of their stuff, Triton Fights. Follow them on Instagram and TritonFights.com. All right, here we go. The main card is about to get going. Shout out to my Ruskies. Where are my Ruskies at? I want to see some Russians in the chat. That's what I want to see. I want to see Russians. Where are the Russians? The Ivan Dragos. I want to see where are you at in the chat. If you're from Russia, say hello to the MMA holes. As this fight is about to get started over here. Alves versus Kunchenko. Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful. Kunchenko. All right, chat room. Let's read some chat comments before we get to the play by play. Tominator says, I was here yesterday it, for Triton. Great show, man. And he says, The knitter is sleepwalking right now. No. Heel Maz says, Herb Dean. Thoughts? Thoughts on Herb Dean? Um, hold on. So, are you, are you jumping in now? If you're jumping in now, yeah. Herb Dean, what the fuck? This fight over here. Poor Dalloway. Poor, hold on a second. Poor Dalloway was just getting mutilated. At the end of the second round, Herb Dean just standing there like a fucking mook with his thumb up his ass. Like, okay, keep fighting. Dalloway's dead. Just keep punching him in the head. Unbelievable. Like, what do you go? 30 extra seconds of unnecessary abuse over there? <laughs> you're just staring at I think, I think, I think Herb Dean is a... All right, what else we got in the chat? Reverb Twang says, worst song ever written. Pablo says, puro vodka vatos. Drunk Savage says, all the Russians are at Food Fight Live. The Big Mean Boy says, prediction, Jones versus Gustafson, UFC 230, Maine, Woodley versus Covington, co-main, or Lesnar versus DC. Well, we know Jones Gustafson is, is definitely in the works for 230. So, eyes out for that one. Andre Gennaro says, just... The Onkalev KO, Onkalov KO was worse or worth this card. Mm -hmm. Alex Pallette says, isn't Hunt the main event? Yes. Paul Fahey says, what's up, guys? How y'all doing? We're doing wonderful, wonderful. 
Wonderful, wonderful. Naomi C says, rest in peace, Callan. CC 2.0 says, CB is a vet, though. Probably gave him the vet's chance. Mm, so here's the thing with that. Um, I like Herb Dean. I'm like in the minority here. I actually enjoy Herb Dean. I think he's, for the most part, he's pretty good. He's had his hiccups, you know, a couple of times. But every ref has it, right? Every ref has a moment. Last night we saw a questionable call, but... There is always a reason. There's always a method to the madness. The thing I have a problem with is, yes, he is a vet, but he wasn't intelligently defending himself. He literally was dead on the floor. And let's come on, Ronda. Yes! Vlad <laughs> is coming all over Ronda's face. Everybody, fap in the chat. Come on, Ronda Rousey. Fap. Fap. Right, Vlad. Ever since you made fun of the UFC Boise card's name, I can't get it out of my fucking head. I say it to myself, Boise UFC Boise. <laughs> can't get it out of his head, Jesse. What do you Boise? think about that? Boise, Boise. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Vlad. Thanks, Vlad. <laughs> <laughs> He can't get it out of his head. He had to come on Ronda for it. If you guys want to come on Ronda, link in the description. Also, Super Chat is open. We got 205 watching, getting ready for us to react to this fight. And Kunchenko is walking into the cage. The crowd is going wild right now. The Russians are loving it for their hometown boy. 18-0-0, about to step inside the octagon for the first time. Jesse, you feeling confident that the Russian will get that knockout that you uh, say? Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now that we have 206 peeps watching, this is my question. I have Conor McGregor, mm. the, the villain, right? If you think about it, we're watching UFC Russia. Khabib versus Conor. UFC 229 is happening very, very soon. Very soon. In under a month. And this man is fighting Khabib. Now, I want to know in the chat, because now we have the Russian peeps hanging with the boys, right? Right? I want to know in the chat who is winning UFC 229, Connor or Habib? Habib. Nurmaga Madoff. Let me know in the chat. 18 and 0 Russian. So it looks like Habib it looks smash. like that uh, the Russian is fighting Alves very shortly. We're going to react to that for UFC Russia. And welcome, friends, to the new show over here. If you want to subscribe, let's get to 13,400, and we let of the dragons loose. Right, Jesse? Yes. What do we let? The dragons loose. That's right. All right, let's see the chat. They're going to vote right now. Connor or Habib, let me know in the chat before this fight gets going. Jesse, what are they saying? Olympia says, Khabib smashed through Chronic McGregor. Khabib does, says Chris Garcia. Khabib will win this match in 229. Tomator says, Tominator says, I'm somewhat more excited for Tyron Colby than Connor Khabib. CC 2.0. Oh. oh, I missed it. Sorry, CC. Jason says, Khabib by humping. Khabib, says Michael Anzalone. They're both getting rich regardless. Uh, hat, hat channel the fight on? Hat channel. There's only one Conor McGregor, says Conor Wilson. Drunk Savage says, Vlad, one of the holes made a video about that. I think I was king your mother's ring. Uh, Gentleman Namodi says, Khabib has never lost a round ever. That sink in. Oh, let that sink in. Sorry. The big meme boy says, uh, McGregor will either knock him out or be submitted. Pablo says, McCracken, McChicken. Duke Chronic says, Conor finishes. Ivan Rep says, Khabib will win. Taron Morris says, McGregor by first round KO. Walker, Walker Bati says, Conor win. Uh, some Russian says, Habib, Habib, Habib. Habib in the chat. Michael Ferrer says, Connor will rear naked choke. Uh, Adrian Susky says, Blackowitz uh, win. We'll get to that fight very soon. Jason says, Connor has the uh, has to Aldo him. Connor says, Connor Wilson. Van Shipman says, depends on who I put money on. Flatter right. Deacon says, Khabib will take a dive. All right. Get your votes in. Let me know. Uh, thank you for joining us. I see the Russians are here. And your boy, Alexei Kunchenko, is about to fight Diego Alvarez. Both are 34 years old. How about this guy, Alexei, who's 34 and making his UFC debut? He is 18-0. and Diego Alvarez, well, he's going to try to stop this, uh, I guess, Russian hype train, right? I guess. I don't know. 18-0 is pretty impressive. Alves puts his hand in the air, gets announced by Bruce Buffer, who made the trip to Russia. How about that? A fight night, a, a weird fight night over here, the first time in Russia. And Bruce Buffer's like, I want to be there, Jesse. 
How about that? No <laughs> Joe Rogan, but we got a Bruce Buffer. Yeah. You well, excited? I can't blame him. I would want to be there too. Would you want to go to Russia? Oh, yeah. You want yeah. to visit Russia? No. Why? Listen, I like Russians. My barbers are Russian, right? Good people, the Russians. But um, I don't want to go to Russia. It's too cold. I would want to go to Russia. I don't know. I don't want to go. I mean, I don't go. it's probably not the safest place to go. I no, I don't care about that. I'm very, uh, you know, I'm very, um, I don't know. You I don't know to, what I am. You want to go to Yemeni? Um, mm, nah. <laughs> We're going to an island. I want to go nice and hot, a hot place with a lot of beaches and shit. All right. The clock has begun. Four, five, five. First round, Alves versus Kunchenko. Alves has the blue gloves. Kunchenko has the red gloves. If you've never seen the MMA holes before, we react to every single UFC event. Make sure you give us a sub if you're not because we will be live for UFC 229 and that is going to be fireworks. Absolute fireworks. We're projected to hit 500,000 views on that stream alone. So we are pumped up and uh, ready to go. All right. So you confident, Jesse? I'm confident always in confident in my pick, even when it's wrong. <laughs> You're saying third round KO, and I got a second round KO. Alves looking very cautious right now in the middle of the cage with Konchenko standing on the Monster Energy logo as both of them are going back and forth, testing, testing, testing. No one is throwing any punches. They're just bobbing and weaving and staring into each other's eyes. Alves threatens a kick but does not pull the trigger. Alves comes in with the kick, kicks the right arm of Konchenko. Konchenko waves it off, steps back and forth. We have to see if Konchenko has those jitters, those nerves. First time stepping inside the octagon-shaped cage. Sometimes that plays a part in this. One thing you could say about Konchenko, he has very defined traps, Jesse. So he wins there, right? Why Triple are you looking at another man's traps? Well, you know, men... Here's, here's something funny. Did you know that men work out... More to impress other men. I did know this. Huh? How about that? How about that, Mapples? I actually learned that from you. That's true. I told you. I think that. we were talking about. I think we were at the gym when you told me. And if you say you do it for women, it's not true. So women, what I've noticed is, you men know, men have so, like an ego thing, right? Yeah, men, men have this weird thing. It's like this. I don't know what it is, but they always have to wear like if they're in good shape, you know, like myself. Look, this is for the men. It's for the boys. No, it's not really, but. Typically, that's that's the case. It's it's bizarre. Like men want to be the alphas. They want to be the big cheese in the room, so they work out and try to look good. You know. What's it's interesting bizarre. to me it's is a really weird thing. Is that even though that is a a fact, what's interesting to me is like, it's obvious that women are attracted to it. Like I would want to come up and squeeze your muscles all the time. So it's clear that there's an attraction from women toward men with muscles. So why don't why don't the men see that? Why don't they see? Oh, women are attracted to this. Do you walk up to random men and squeeze their muscles? No, but if a man has muscles, I'm more likely yeah, to. Man. It's amazing. Actually, I could do the you know you got to put the thumb inside here and then you get the bigger bicep. Anyway, I got some work to do, but it is what it is. I'm I'm long in the tooth. But Jesse's guns. Check out the guns on JBH. No. Look at the guns on Jesse. <laughs> Look at this shit. Go ahead, Jesse. Flex for the people. 263 <laughs> people want to see them guns. Drop the uh, gun emoji in the chat. <laughs> Jesse Flex. Here we go. It's time for the gun show. That's right. Diego Alves versus Alexei Kunchenko is going down right now. But Jesse, more importantly, is about to show her guns. Here they come. Coming in hot. Oh, my God. Yes. Stop. Stop. <laughs> wonderful. Wonderful. All right. Stop. <laughs> Tehran, yeah, we're going to a party. We would uh, do Fight Buddies for Canelo Triple G. Unfortunately, we are um, we're going to be at a party. But... If you are subscribed, you never know. Make sure you slap that notification bell. Might do something from the phone. We might go live. Do a quick, you know, psst, we're watching the fight. <laughs> Come watch it with us. All right, Alves versus Kunchenko going down right now. A nice right lands by Alves. Kunchenko steps forward, meets him back in the middle of the cage. Not much exchanging between the two here. Interesting stuff. Well, 120 left in the round, and they're just dancing, Jesse. Well, I love fights. <laughs> they They're not doing shit. <laughs> what is going on here? I can understand Konchenko being a little bit nervous, right? It's the first time in the cage. He's in his hometown. Nice leg kick there by Alves. But, man, nothing is really happening in this fight. Alves being very cautious as well. Konchenko now moving forward with a nice leg kick. 53 seconds left in the first round. Konchenko versus Alves. UFC Russia. Body shot by Alves, throws the leg into the midsection of Konchenko. 
Konchenko cutting him off now as Alves is trying to circle. Konchenko comes in with a 1-2. Konchenko now looking more aggressive, feeling something here. Now that he has his feet planted inside the octagon, a little bit more comfortable, Konchenko looking to show a, a sense of urgency. Could this be the first fight we don't see a knockout? Uh, well, listen, I pick second, you pick third round, so we have time to get our predictions right. She actually does have definition. I'm shocked, says gentleman. Of course she does. For fuck's sake. She, <laughs> she works out with the mystic one, for God's sakes. Right? We work out. Yeah. You I'm guys know that song? I um, work out. Unfortunately. <laughs> 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 All right, here we go. The round is winding down. Looks to me, just by watching this thing, it looks like Alves got the, well, the benefit of the round. I think he won the first round. What do you say, Jesse? It's a close one. Ah, uh, Yeah. These are the unofficial stats, 10 to 9, 10 to 9 in both sections over there. Unofficial stats, but I'm going to have to give it to Alves in the first round. Not a very eventful first round, but I'm going with Alves in this one. Let me know in the chat what you guys say. The fap room. Michael Fletcher Jr. says, neither man wants to make a huge mistake. Kevin Costa says, let's be honest. Who gives a shit about this fight? I prefer <laughs> Jesse Hammer dancing. <laughs> David Galan says, are these fights on Fight Pass? Olympia Low Life says, tendons. Yes, they are. Uh, Russian says hi. Predator Gaming says yo. What's up, Russian? Tominator says Mystic, show us your guns. You want to see him, Jesse? I do. The big mean boy says I love me some chicken tendies. Olympia Low Life says barn burner. Michael Ferrer. Through watching this, I have sex appeal oozing out of every <laughs> pore of my body. Yes, that's right. Let's see Mystic Moss's guns. All right, Jesse. They're about to see something magnificent, Jesse. Should I show them now, or should I make them wait? I want to see them now. All right, everyone take your pants off, because the second round's about to get started. Kinchenko versus Alves. I started the clock, but more importantly... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> what was that? Wait, you don't flex and do that? You don't do that? No. All right. Pants is already <laughs> off, says Jason. There we go. All right. So, Konchenko looking a lot more aggressive in the second round. If you guys want to sync it up with us, it's right over there. <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> I think I threw on my back. Alves hits him with some body shots. Alves coming in now. <laughs> Can you do that again? Mm -hmm. They only get it once a show. <laughs> only once a show. That's it. All right. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm still, we're still tardy from last night. It was a late night. We went to the after party from Triton Fights at Cannes. Cannes does a nice job over there. Fantastic food at Cannes, right? So good. Chris Machi. I get the same thing every time. Yeah, it's delicious. What do you get? You want to explain? I get a mushroom Swiss burger. And it's got mushrooms, delicious. Swiss, and bacon. Bacon. Yeah. Um, and Chris Machi, shout out to Chris Machi for making everyone drink the shots. Chris Machi is just like pouring drinks down your throat. Good guy over there, promoter of Triton Fights. All right. <laughs> it's funny. They were both, him and his girlfriend, were a little tipsy last yeah, night. <laughs> you can't talk too many stories from the after party. You have to show up at the after party. By the it's way, great. I you tell guys are you what. missing out on so much. We should have some of the East Coast peeps go to the after party over there. That yeah. would be a lot of fun. So, I agree. Kenshiro. Get out of your room. Stop playing those weird video games. <laughs> I don't know what he's playing over there. The fuck is back on? <laughs> back on. Uh, replace this, the K with a C, Jason. And then <laughs> that's back on. All right. So Alves versus Kinchenko. Still trying to get something going over here. Not, I'm telling you, not much action. I There's a reason three. why we're straying over here. Kinchenko, uh, Kinchenko is the one that is moving forward at this situation. Alves tries to come in with a kick to the body, partially blocked by Kinchenko. Kinchenko making his UFC debut. Not... Not much fireworks. Alves backing up now. Konchenko is hunting. He's hunting, hunting, pushing Alves to the back, to the cage. Leg kick by Konchenko. Return favor by Alves coming upstairs. A nice left by Konchenko lands. Konchenko looking. Wow, he's a, he's a big dude, huh? Konchenko. Guy's in good shape. Kick to the body by Alves. Alves threatens another kick. Alves comes in with a beautiful right that lands on the Konchenko chin. Konchenko waves it off. Now moving forward, Konchenko tapping hands with Alves. Konchenko with a kick to the body that grazes the belly button of Alves. Alves spins away. 
Spin, spin, spin by Alves circling away from the dominant left hand of Konchenko. Comes upstairs with a kick that's partially blocked by Konchenko. Konchenko rocking the David Letterman hairdo with a little Florida island in front and the receded hairline. Ooh, kick to the body by Konchenko. Return favor by Alves with the right. Alves with a left now. Konchenko looking to move forward. Alves swings with a right, misses. Konchenko comes back with a right of his own. Kick to the thighs by Alves. One minute 40 left in the second round. Konchenko versus Alves. We're watching this off of Fight Pass. Watching UFC Russia. So what do you think about the UFC moving more to Russia? Mm, uh, yeah, I want to see more of that. I would have liked to see them put together a more stacked up card. But I guess to get their feet wet. Yeah. You know, and the time difference is a problem too. So you can't. Load it up, but it would have been fun to see like an Artem Lobov. Why is Artem not there? You know, I don't know. The goat. 60 likes. What? What did you say? 60 likes. Holy shit. Moose Joe's Gracias. We grazed a little bit of the prelims. We started a little bit late today, but we are taking you through the entire main card. Four full fights of Russian action. UFC fight night. What is it? 130 something? Six? What is it? Yes, 136. 136. Give me stream UFC, says Kamil Polak. It's on Fight Pass. Just go online, though. I mean, there apparently there's streams all over the place for this thing. 25 seconds left in the second round. As Alves is trying to finish strong, nice kick to the body. Konchenko with a left. Do you guys and gals want to see more UFC in Russia? Oh, there we go. Konchenko landing the right and the left. So Konchenko, I don't know if he's a southpaw. He's been switching stances a lot. Maybe it's because of he's the leg kicks. He's going to go for that knockout. Did you see that? He tried to hit him right behind the ear. All right, round is over. Yeah, I've noticed that Konchenko is going orthodox. He's going southpaw. And uh, Alves... Going back to the corner right now. We're going into the third round over here. Let's look at the unofficial statisticals. And here we go. First round, we saw 9 to 10, both sides total and significant. And is it what? How is this? Oh, here we go. 18 to 27 in favor of Alves. 18 to 27. What is it? I feel like the, the stat people are just lazy right now. They're just like, yeah, we're just going to make significant and total strikes exactly the same in both rounds. Right? What is that? Anyway, I do think it's a split <laughs> fight, so I think that's correct. I think Konchenko got the first and Alves got the second. That's what I'm going to go with. Actually, no, wait, hold on. No, I think Alves got both rounds. What am I talking about? Alves got both rounds, in my humble opinion. Jesse, what do you say in this one? Agree. Yeah. How about, did you guys see the picture of John Jones and Rumble Johnson squaring off? Let me know in the chat if you saw that. If you didn't, I'll show it to you right now. And we could all jerk off to that, too. All right, the third round is about to get going. 233 people watching. What's up, friends? Welcome to our fight reaction, UFC Russia. Third round going down, and I do feel that Alves is up two to zip. So let's see, let's see. Where is, uh, I don't know, I'll find that picture in a second as we react to the fight third round. This will be the round that Kentenko <coughs> takes the uh, knockout. I tell you, Alves, Alves is looking... Alves is looking good so far, but Konchenko needs a prayer because he is, to me, he's down two to zip. The first one is a close round, but I think he's down two zip in this one. Konchenko moving forward, looking aggressive. Alves coming in with a right. Now we got some action in the third round. Alves with the body shot and the leg kick. Alves looking like vintage Alves here, trying to beat up the debut fighter in front of his home people. Alves with a nice left and then lands a right. Konchenko eats it, circles around away from Alves. Now trying to push Alves back to the cage. Skipping, skipping forward. Alves trying to cut him off. I like the Russian shirts. Look at that. The UFC Russia shirts. The refs have it on. The fighters will walk into the cage with it. Was it a bear on the shirt? I don't know. Konchenko to body shot. Konchenko comes in with a right to the face of Alves. I do feel Konchenko needs a finish here. That's the only way he's going to win this fight. Don't worry. He will. Jones has no competition, says gentlemen, gentlemen. Well... The Gus fight was very close. It was a very close one the first time around. I don't know if he can do the same thing the second time around, but it seemed to be a problem the first time around for Jones, so I would like to see that rematch. I would also like to see DC Jones at heavyweight. I would li I, I'm very interested. Even John Jones said 
that Daniel Cormier would be a more dangerous opponent at heavyweight because he's more towards his natural weight. So that's coming from the drugged up goat's mouth who could still be on UFC 230. Stand by for UFC 229 press conference next Thursday. That's McGregor versus Habib. Out. Yeah, they're going to drop the news then for sure. Shout out to Paul Fay. What's up? Jimmy Manoa is the only one that can beat John Jones. Is Tominator really likes Jimmy Manoa. Maybe that's really Jimmy Manoa in the chat, you know, <laughs> as the Tominator. Yeah. He loves that Jimmy Manoa. Jimmy Manoa has got the pop, but I don't know. I don't know if I'm with you on that. Not at light heavyweight, but Jones gets destroyed at heavyweights. His drunk savage. Jones versus Stipe is definitely a good one too. Jones versus Stipe. Yeah, yeah. Stipe. I mean, because he got caught with that punch, doesn't mean he's he's done. You know. Stipe, even if he gets that rematch against DC, uh, which he's not going to get, I don't see that happening. But if he did, that would be an intriguing fight. I'd like to see it go past the first round. See what happens. They're going to give uh, Kunchenko two once is Andre. Time. Oh, nut shot. Is this what happened here? Nut Let's shot. See. Was it a nut shot? Kunchenko got kicked in the, the nads. Stipe deserves it. Why isn't it. he taking the knockout yet? What's going on here? I don't know, but Kunchenko's letting us down. He is letting us down. That's what we get for picking the new the newbie. All right, Kunchenko says he's fine. And looks like he wants to continue. Alves, they tap the gloves. We start the clock. 2 0 Trey. Two, one, two minutes left in the fight. Alves versus Kinchenko. Not the greatest fight in the world, but not the greatest card in the world. Michael Venom Page, MVP is the future. No, he's not. Stop it. Of course he is. No, he's not. I do want to see him fight Paul Daly. I do want to see that. But no, I'm not sold on Michael Venom Page. The guy's got a lot of talent, but... Mm, you see another school He beat in. fucking Caveman Rickles, for God's sakes. And he lost, he almost, oh shit, Konchenko trips down Alves, Alves falls, gets back up to the feet really quick. 130 left in the fight, and Alves has a nice knot on the right side, his cheekbone. Konchenko needs a finish, in my opinion. Now, the first round could go either way, you know? If it goes to a decision, maybe the judges will be swayed by the Russians. If Konchenko can win the, the third round, going for a double over here, and lifts up, dumps Take down. Alves. Konchenko seems like as the fight's progressing now, he's getting a lot more comfortable. Third round, he's fired up. I think his whole intention was definitely to wear Alves out for the first two rounds and then just go ham on him in the third round. Yeah, I think nerves was a little bit of the beginning. Oh, an elbow, a nice uppercut. Konchenko throwing some crisp strikes. We got a fight. 45 seconds left in the fight. The third round is winding down, and Konchenko's throwing some massive combinations. Hits up the body, ends up on the face. The uppercut lands, a hook comes in, another right, an elbow by Konchenko. Alves against the fence, trying to weather the storm of the Russian. Konchenko comes forward and he is emptying the gas tank. 25 seconds left, a nice body shot by Konchenko. Alves wisely circles away. Alves tries to get a jab of his own. Konchenko lunges in with an elbow. 15 seconds left in the fight. Can Konchenko get it done? Alves looking up at the clock, he's like, fuck it, I'm gonna hold up here and just weather the storm. Oh, a spinning back fist by Konchenko. Did he? Alves now moving forward. Another spinning back fist. Konchenko is just throwing everything at him. The fight is over as they swing away. But woo, a fire way to end the fight. That's a little disappointing. <laughs> I kind of wish they fucking fought like that the whole time. Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. It is what it is. What can you do? Very forgettable fight, but the ending was pretty good. I got to give it that. All right, so Konchenko, I think it's easy, safe to say that he won the third round. 42 to 25, 4, 9 seconds of control time. 28 to 25 significant strikes. A lot of punches, a lot of strikes thrown in that round. But the, the, the story is going to be the first round, right? Alves gets the second convincingly. Konchenko gets the third convincingly. But the first round was very close. And maybe, just maybe, the judges will go in the way of the Russian. But in my opinion, I feel Alves won that decision. Jesse, what do you say? Uh, I, I feel Konchenko did win the third round, but I think if the judges do decide to give that first round to Alves, which I don't see why they wouldn't, um, then yeah, Alves would definitely win that decision. But 
something tells me that one of these judges are going to pull something skeevy and give Konchenko that first round. I really don't think he won that first round. I really don't. But that home field advantage could be the difference. I do think Konchenko took the third one, one though. All right. Let's see what they say. The official decision. Three rounds. Unanimous decision. It's going to be obvious. Konchenko. A unanimous decision for the Russian. Oh, no MG. way. <laughs> no. You know what, though? Even though uh, Alves landed more strikes, Konchenko was definitely more aggressive in the entire fight. So... All right. So listen, the decision is a decision. Unanimous is a little Russian shocking judges. to me. Russian judges. Um, Russian judges. Hey, we got bias. our pick right. Hold on. We got we got our pick right. That's all I'm asking. 80s fist grip. Wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Black people. <laughs> all right. So that, uh, yeah. If you're just jumping in, well, <laughs> 30-27. Holy smokes. A unanimous decision by Konchenko. I, I disagree, but I picked Konchenko, so I'm happy. Uh, home field advantage. Konchenko goes, uh, keeps his undefeated record intact. 19-0-0. Alves goes 27-13-0. And, hmm... What do you guys say in the chat? I mean, listen, it's not a robbery because the first round was really close. I disagree. But um, home field advantage. All right. Chat room. The chat room is speaking. The MMA holes, the cringiest, most sexy live chat on YouTube is here. Let's see if we can get to 13,400 subscribers. And we will let the dragons loose. Now on fight night, which is a fight day for us, it is 2.39 p.m. over here on the East Coast. Um, this is a little bit different for us, but we have 263 people watching, so let's get a subscriber party right now. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are reacting to this card over here. Alexei Konchenko gets the win, goes to a perfect 19-0-0 over Thiago Alves. And we give you our guaranteed picks and we never get them wrong. So right off the bat, we are starting with a home run. What's up, Joshua Smash says, hello. The next fight over here is Andre Arlovsky, who has been in the game for a hot minute, fighting Shamil Abdurakhamov. We have Jan Blackowitz versus Nikita Krylov. One fight to look out for. Jan beat up our friend Devin Clark, and I'll never forgive him for it. Hey, Fire Turtle Gaming is here. What up, Fire Gaming Turtle? Look at that. Fire right Turtle over there. Gaming. Fire, Fire Gaming, Gaming Turtle. Turtle. Fire Turtle. <laughs> Fuck yeah, what's up? <laughs> Mark Hunt versus Alexei Olenek is the main event of the evening. 72 likes, 277 watching. Jesse, what's going on in the chat? Jason says, can't wait for the Hunt fight. Vigo Stockholm says, Sailor, where are you at? Faggot. Gentleman Nemodi says, never leave it to the judges. Dude Chronic says, number 12, holy crap. Oh, all may feast. 59 says WTF. Flatter Deacon says, like, sub, finish strong with a super chat. Yeah. Dude Chronic says, Jan is good. CC 2.0 says Volkov will be champ. Remember, I said that. Duran Mojic Green says the Pitbull. Vigo Stockholm says Flatter Deacon. Where you at, faggot? Dude Chronic says 5611. Tominator says I need some wanking material. Jesse, get to work. Clock says get ready for you. Get ready for your free roll tonight. Good luck to us. Yeah, Clocks, get that win. Picking Canelo Alvarez over Triple G. Duke Klein says Alexis been around. Michael Ferrer says the person below me is a wanker. Drunk Savage's JBH is going to make up for her food Gloss Friday loss. Moise Tahir says wanker. Kevin Attack Daddy says Alex is a Parkland guy. He wins tonight. Hashtag MSD strong. Reverb Twain says two words song hit number one in Wakanda. <laughs> <laughs> Marijuana Guy Diaz says this fight was a draw in my opinion. Yes. The big Mean Boy says fuck you, Georges. Tominator says, laughing my ass off Reaper. Reverb. Steve Johnson says, this or the party is arriving from Dan and Jay's one at a time. Hey, look. Sam Pace is love from England. What up, England in the house? Got people from all over the world 
watching us react to UFC Russia. Thank you for joining us. And it's time for our next pick. We are one for one. Both me and Jesse get the first one right. But do we get the second right? Well, we'll find out right now on the MMA Hills. Sing. Ask in. You may receive correct picks. Is what we'll achieve. Red beard, light skin, hold your girls tight. It's time for Mystic Moss to pick some fights. Every time I pick, I get them right. So take off your clothes and shut the lights. Suck my dick. It's time to pick. Suck my dick. It's time to pick. Panan Date 888. You are wonderful, wonderful. All right, it's time to make some picks over here. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are picking the second fight on the main card. Two Joints loves this show. We love Two Joints. Uh, laugh my ass off. This stream is legit. Moise Tahir, you are a legit motherfucker. Wonderful. Appreciate it. Appreciate the love in the chat. You guys are awesome. All right, here we go. Shamil, what do you got here? Shamil versus Andre Orlovsky. I'm never picking Orlovsky again. Fuck that guy. Fuck Arlovsky. I'm not picking him anymore. His nose is crooked for fuck's sake. So I'm going with Shamil for the win. Mother Russia going two in a row on the main card. Jesse, who do you have in this fight? <coughs> <laughs> oh, no. She's choking. Oh, no. Jesse, no. No, Jesse. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. Jesse's choking. No. Get an ambulance. Get an ambulance. She's it's choking. Human. It's human. <laughs> She's gonna need the um, honey lick maneuver. All right, so who you having this fight? Abdurak Kimov. All right, so you're going for Shamil for the win. We're just gonna say the, the first names. Uh, Shamil versus Andre Arlovsky, right? <laughs> Shamil uh, gets the win, and you have a decision. I have a decision as well. <laughs> Holy shit, we got the same fucking picks again. Who do you have in the chat? Moise to here says Shamil via decision. So yeah, we're, we're, it looks like we're a decision party. For this this one if you're new to this we will be live every single ufc card we do it for every ufc card ufc 229 right around the corner and they're showing the promo <laughs> conor mcgregor yeah <laughs> versus habib nurmaga madoff the undefeated dagestanian fantastic firefight card over there loving the card if you guys want to look at it we'll give a little preview here we also do shows three times a week, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, on top of our fight reactions. Yeah. So we, we keep this party going a lot. All right, uh, let's see. Schedule. And we're going to scroll down. Shout out to our sponsors, ARN Insulation, Tiger Life, Energy, and Duplex Entertainment. Here it is. UFC. By the way, speaking of Manoa, Manoa is coming up. We will be reacting to the Manoa fight in between this stuff over here. But Conor McGregor versus Habib, it will finally happen. Ferguson versus Pettis. We have a St. Pru versus Reyes. Good fights over here. Lewis versus Volkov. So Volkov in the, the stands. How about Volkov doing work in the stands? Watterson versus Herrig. A card that looked like a fight night other than Habib versus Conor turned into a fucking fire card. O'Malley. We got fucking Pettis' brother over here. Formiga. Watch out for this fight. It's a good fight over there. We got Tanya Evinger over here. And Tanya Evinger also brings her, her vagina to the fight. I bet you didn't know that. <laughs> oh, yes. Hey, I'm going to be fighting too. Oh, yes. I'm going to be fighting Aspen Lad. It's going to be wonderful, wonderful. Oh, Tanya Evinger's vagina. Uh, welcome to the show again. You've been here before. But Tanya Evinger, uh, I mean, listen, we know you're a lesbian. We know you made out with Laura Sanko. Will you try to make out with Aspen Lad? She's kind of cute. No, yeah, she's beautiful. I would like to make out with Aspen Lad. It would be wonderful, wonderful. I would put my vagina lips and make out firmly on Aspen Lad's lips. Wait, so you're going to make out with her with your vagina on Aspen Lad's lips? Oh, yes, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to mount her and then scoot my tush up and then place my pussy lips on her lips. Jesse? <laughs> I think this would be a perfect time for a Laura Senko um, song. Mm. Well, link in the description Just, for that. Just uh, wink, wink to everyone. Hello, Olympia Low Life. I know you love the pussy bit, so hello, welcome. All right. So, Tanya Evinger, that's, I mean, good card. Really good part. Landsberg coming back. Kon versus Quinn Sky. Sky. Oh, my God. Rest in peace, Landsberg. Rest in peace, Landsberg. Quick pick for me right there. Gray Maynard coming back in here. Love the card. Love it, love it, love it. All right, friends. All right, friends and family. Let's move on to the next fight on the card. 
as we are mowing through the main card over here. Andre Arlaski versus Shamil Abdurakimov. 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 All right. So we both got Shamil in this fight. Or Shamil. Is it Shamil or Shamil? Shamil, Shamil. Shamil. Let me know how you pronounce the Shamil Abdurakimov. All right. What we got going on in the chat? Uh, David Floor says, we in here. MMA Buds says, sup, sickos. Sup, MMA Buds. Two Joint says, where's Powerful Staley? Alex Paulette says, has thanked the bus driver. Flatter Deacon says, DFO. Duke Chronic says, fucking Chalabib. Chalabib. Okay, Agent says, hi, Two Joints. Hope you're ta- taking care of those two dicks of yours. Mm. Olivia Low Life says, hey, Two Joints. David Flores at Sparks. Pondy Hole. Two Joints says, lip service, Chris. Paul Fahey says 20 on Andre. You're putting 20 on Andre, really? Gentleman hmm. Nemodi says good grief, Moss. Michael Chapman says lesbian breath. Schlagboy schlag boy says <laughs> Shamil has beautiful feet. I like the name Schlagboy. That's a good name. What's that? I don't know. It just it just works. It rolls off the tongue tongue nicely. Schlagboy. Olympia Low Life says Schmiel Schmazel Hasen Pfeffer <laughs> Incorporated. <laughs> I love this chat room. I swear to God, it's the greatest fucking chat room in the world, right? Look at these people. The 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 things that come out of their their fingertips inside this chat room is it's just it's a beautiful thing. It's a it's a thing of beauty. All right, Jesse. Uh, Arlovsky back in the cage once again. This man has over forty fights on his resume, and he's fighting the number fourteen Shamil. Fourteen versus a twelve, close in the rankings. But I don't know. It's t- it's tough for me not to pick Shamil in this fight, and it's tough for me not to pick that decision. Jesse on the same page. Are you? I mean, I, I I've had enough of Orlovsky. <laughs> yeah, I he's a know. Jackson Wing guy, and you know he's had a very impressive career. But oh, maybe we'll see something surprising over here. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, and maybe mom and dad, JBH and Moss is Vito Garcia. Hello, We're son. MMA's mom and dad. We are. We are. That's true. That's, that's that's correct. <laughs> 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 All right, who do you got? Belarus or Russia? How about Andrei Orlovsky walking off the set? He was being interviewed in Russia, and they showed the ovary <laughs> highlights. <laughs> I love it. I fucking love it. He gets up, he takes the microphone off, he walks off the set. Yeah. Andrei Orlovsky had a little hissy fit over there. Maybe you could go into. You saw the story, right? Did you see the story? Oh, you didn't see it. You didn't see it. Andrei Orlovsky was being interviewed in Russia. I think I showed it to you. Oh. Well, I'll look it up. What, what, what do you want? Yeah, to he was he was being interviewed in Russia, and in the middle of the interview. Oh, I showed that to you. Yeah, that's. He's being interviewed in Russia, and um, twenty likes. Twenty likes. Twenty likes. <laughs> yeah. I've got fucking twenty. Twenty likes. Dalfina Rashidi says, I'm waiting for that McGregor versus Khabib fight. Wow, Arlovsky running in, charging into the cage. Look at that. No one with him leaves the whole team behind, runs in. Of course you're waiting for the Khabib versus McGregor. Last year we saw McGregor versus Mayweather. But it was a big event, right? And it was boxing. Now McGregor's back in the cage. He's fighting an undefeated <laughs> fighter. He threw a fucking hand truck through a bus window. Of course you're... Gay, yeah. gay agent says, does anybody want to put a funnel in my throat and then crap into the funnel? I mean, who who doesn't want to do that, right? <laughs> who doesn't want to do that? This looks like a fight in the 1600s. Hashtag early man, says Kevin Costa. Six people are dying of leprosy. Yeah, 83 people liking the fuck out of this thing. Gracias. Six people dying of leprosy. Thank you for that as well. Yes. Oh, 300 peeps watching. What up, peeps? All right, here we go. 13,300. And 73 subscribers. Do you think, I mean, easy work with 300 people watching. Do you think that we'll let the dragons fly at 13,400 today? Yes. I think we can get 27 subs with the last three fights on the card. Easy work. If you want to be, work. come part of the most swole community on YouTube, be like Moise Tahir. 
Moise, Tahir, you are wonderful, wonderful. wonderful and wonderful. let's go. Let's get that party going. Let's let those dragons loose because there's a fight that's about to get going. Arlovsky versus Abracadabra. Shamil, Abracadabra versus Andre Arlovsky. Jesse. Yes. Abracadabra is 37 years old. Arlovsky is 39 years old. It's like a Bellator fight. 6'3", six, 6'3", three, six, three, both fighters. Weight 256 oh for Abracadabra. 244 four, four. Arlovsky. A one-inch reach advantage for Andre. All right. Uh, Michael Chapman's dick is swole. Jared from Subway takes it up the ass at 13,000 times and jails his two joints. Is this pause now? Did they uh, show fights before? No, we are reacting. We are reacting to the fights. <laughs> Thank you. In the title. Yeah, it's in the title, in the description, but it's fine. We forgive you. We forgive you every time. This will be a banger, says Olympia Lowlife. Mm. From your lips to... The MMA God's, God's ears. ears. Yeah, that's. I, I don't see this. This card is flying though fast. I like uh, team much better. You're so beautiful. Thank you, Jackie. I appreciate it. I get that. You a lot. are beautiful. I get that a lot. I well, think you're very I mean, beautiful. Isn't Jackie a nice person? Yeah. I appreciate that. Don't you guys think he's beautiful? Very beautiful. I sure am beautiful. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, here we go. Let's get this party started. Arlovsky points over to Bruce Buffer. He's like, yes, you just said my name. Bruce Buffer says, yeah, I did say your name. Arlovsky shows the the traditional fangs inside the mouthpiece. Jesse, you want to call this fight? We'll uh, have you call this one. Nah. Okay. You don't want to do it? Uh, all right. You sure? All Green right. girl. Here we go. JBH calling the fight. Uh, get ready for the AIDS. Okay. Arlovsky versus Shamil. Here we go. Round one. Starting... Now, four minutes and fifty-six seconds on the clock. Arlovsky in the black shorts, Emil or Shamil, Shamil in the white, <laughs> dancing around the center of the octagon right now. Arlovsky looks like he's scoping out Shamil, getting ready to to pounce on his prey. Arlovsky is uh, uh, Shamil goes in head first towards Arlovsky. Arlovsky with the knees to the body. Shamil's <laughs> trying to drop some strikes on. Hold on, Arlovsky. real quick. Let me just interrupt you real quick. Jay Smooth says Herb Dean is a murderer. And yeah, I mean, fucking A. If you missed that last fight that Herb Dean was refereeing over there, I mean, what in the holy hell was going on? The preliminaries, last fight of the prelims. All right, go back to the play by play. play, play. Arlovsky is on his back. The ref stands him up. Back in the center, Shamil and Arlovsky dancing. And this is, this is going to be a banger, says Olympia. Well, it's still early. Shamil with a couple knees to the body, and Arlovsky returns those knees to the body with his arms stretched around Shamil's neck. Shamil is not having it, though, and whips his body away from Arlovsky like he thought Arlovsky was gay and was going to make a gay move on him. But he's not. Mark Hunt will be fighting after the next one. Next one's Komain. Oh, oh, Shamil drops Arlovsky to right. Jesse, look at this action over here. You think a lot of humping and grinding is going to happen right now? What do you think? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're not into this fight. You can call it. Anytime. Why? I don't know. I'm just not feeling calling it. You no, know? Okay, like, it's fine. Usually when I'm feeling it, I'm good. No. But if I'm just not, if I'm not feeling the play by play, like no. it's a little difficult for me to. All right. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Uh, Arlovsky on his back. And here we go. It's gonna, the, the round is going to stay like this. Three minutes and 11 seconds left in a round. And Shamil is inside the guard of Andre Arlovsky. And if this doesn't get stood up, I guarantee oh, it stays here for a little super bit. Super chat. Andre Arlovsky is done. Vanship Man. How do you say forehead in Russian? Let's look it up. All right. Actually, yeah. Actually, Google Translate, right? Yes. All right. We're going to find out. Thank you, Vanship Man. If you want to be like Vanship Man, link in the description. You can play some songs, interrupt the show at any time, make the MMA whore talk. And uh, down below uh, the, in the chat room, there's a super chat. You could tickle that as well. Uh, Steve Johnson just put it <laughs> there. Oh, she took that shit to heart, says Michael Chapman. Chris has a firebush. I do, David. It's true. Lob. Oh, yeah, lob. And Steve lob. Johnson got it right. He put it there. It's lob. 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 <laughs> lob. 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 For head Next seat. time we see Chris Machi, we have to be like, hello, lob. Lob. <laughs> uh, Early UFC cards rock. I agree, Steve Sparks. They really do. But this. Bye, this Irish Dragon. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. The Irish Dragon's gone. Ugh, out of here. 
Goodbye, you two. <laughs> He's like 12 years old. <laughs> See you later. All right. They stand it up. Shocker. They stand it up. This is the fight that we said, yeah, get ready to go to bed. Uh, Andre Olaski versus Shamil Abracadabra. And what are we Abracadabra. doing? Oh, isn't this the one that you called Abracadabra last time? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was. Argonite style. Donate $40 if you can tell me who will win and get it correct. It's going to be Shamil. You're going to donate 40 bucks. Aragon, you might as well donate it now. Because Shamil, Shamil is going to get the decision. Trust me on this. We both picked the same thing over here. Arlovsky rushes in. And Shamil, the older of the two, will get it done in a decision style. A boring three-round snuggle fest is what I'm going with. What's your predictions in the chat? As we have one minute. Boss Conquer. He's saying goodbye to the Irish snake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everyone say goodbye to the Irish snake. You know, you don't want to be called the Irish snake because... Irish people are notorious for small penises. So now it's like, <laughs> if you call yourself the Irish snake, what are you doing? This is a life lesson I'm just teaching you. And I'm half Irish, so but women, I would know. Women can say they're Irish because there's nothing bad about it. Oh, Arlovsky trips out. Shamil. Shamil gets back up real quick. And here we go. They're doing the waltz right now. Shamil with the underhook trying oh, to push Oh, he thought forward. it was a dragon because his name is the Irish dragon. Mm -hmm. But he dropped a snake. It's okay. You still said bye to him, so. Oh, is it the Irish dragon? It's the Irish dragon. Oh, okay. My, my apologies. But there's a dragon emoji if you want to put the Irish yeah. dragon. Well, maybe he's like Irish dragon breath, right? And, and dragon breath is like halitosis. So maybe he has bad breath. <laughs> he has bad, fuck? like he smells like corned beef and cabbage. <laughs> dragon breath? <laughs> he's, got, he's got the, the terrible corned beef and You know cabbage smells like hell. Corned beef and cabbage is delicious. It's a delicious meal. But it's probably the worst smelling. It smells like farts mixed with hell, death, and sewage. I didn't know hell and had yeah the mother. cabbage you ever walk in a home oh, and they cook cabbage super it's, it tastes delicious but smells oh Arlovsky gets dropped how do you say shit card in Russian Putin uh, shirt <laughs> was it Poon, uh, Putin shirt off that, that is a shit card in Russian thank you Vanchit man round Oops. is over but Arlovsky gets popped at the end of the round stumbles down let's look at the unofficial stats D you put your mic D by it D Marvaya Karvitska there you go Jesse, if you want to know how to say anything in Russia, Russian, Jesse will translate for you. I'm learning Russian over here. First Dimar round Kovitcha. Kovitcha. went down. 12 strikes to 30. Uh, nine significant to six. One takedown, 155 control time to Shamil. Given the first round, unofficially. But Jesse, what do you say? Shamil. Shamil is first round. All right. So we both picked decisions over there. Get ready to, to donate your 40 bucks, my man. 86 to 10 in the likes. Thank you for liking this video. Appreciate it. If you're not subbed, we are getting closer and closer to releasing the dragons. Look at this motherfucker over here. What up? Welcome to the MMA holes to this guy. I don't know how to say your name, but welcome to the family. Let's Google translate it. I don't know how to say that. All right, we're going into the second round. Arlovsky versus Shamil. I'm done with Arlovsky, but you never know. He might surprise us right here, and that's why we watch. Arlovsky rocking the red gloves. Been in the mixed martial arts world for a long time. Shamil has been around the block as well, but not as long with the blue gloves. Shamil going in, underhooks, pushing, trying to get a takedown. Body shot over there, pushing to the fence. Arlovsky, Arlovsky trying to spin him off. The UFC veteran is trying to get back in the win column here, fighting out of Jackson Wink. They dance to the middle of the cage again. Here we go. Hug fest, snuggle fest between the two. As they are firmly in the middle of the monster energy drink. Let's see if Shamil can get a takedown with a trip. Arlovsky with a nice knee. And here we go. That was a nut shot. Knee to the nuts. Mystic Moss not only gets his predictions right, right? But Mystic Moss also tells you if it's going to be a shit fight. And um, yes. D. Mar D Marvaya Kavichka. Um, I said this before, Chris has a fire bush. Yes, you did. And I do. Jesse can confirm it, right? It's true. It's a fiery bush. It's red hot. It's a fire engine. It's fire engine red, my bush. It, it gets me red hot just looking at it. <laughs> she's thinking about it right now. And I'm she already a, red hot. She wants to get a hose. Actually, she's... <laughs> she, all right, forget it. Anyway, um, <laughs> what would you be doing right now, right? You'd be watching these fights by yourself. Right. You'd be sitting there and just watching UFC Russia, watching this. Oh, dropped again. Arlovsky on his back. And Shamil looking to drop into the guard and does. Shamil into the guard. Could you imagine watching this shit by yourself? No. Now you have 300 people to watch it with. The MMA holes over here. So you're welcome. 
How fat is Arlovsky? Uh, um, he's not that fat. He looks like in decent shape. Right now, Shamil is in the guard of Arlovsky, and we'll be we'll we'll hang out. We'll hang out here for a little bit, right, Jesse? Right. Yeah. If you jump it in, we react to every single UFC fight. We've got the fights hanging out on a 65-incher over there. We have you guys inside this, the cell phone right next to us. And we have a clock in the corner inside that Dr. Mario little pellet over there. Two minutes, 59 seconds left in the round. Actually, let me change it up over here because my clock is wrong. And now it's synced up. Nutshot threw me off. Hi, Connor Wilson. Say hello to Connor Wilson. Hi, Connor Wilson. Say hello. Say Jesse. Jesse, say hello. Connor Wilson. Connor Wilson. <laughs> this is the fight we are reacting to right now. Oh, uh, yes. Yes, I am the father, actually. I'm your father. Welcome to the chat, son. Luke. <laughs> <laughs> I am. My son is here, Moise. You know, I was like, let me name my son Moise. I am. Oh, this fight's hell. Your father. Actually, do this. Hold on. Luke. I am your father. All right, stop it. You kill me. <laughs> All right, shocker. This fight sucks. Two minutes left in the second round. We're just buying time because we want to see Mark Hunt get to work. Versus Olenek, but I have to say the Blackwoods fight versus Krylov. This is a good one. I'm interested in this one as well. So co-main and main, good stuff, and they had to give <laughs> us this. What do we got going on in the chat? Actually, I'm from Pakistan. Says Moista here. Fritz Mott says no rugrats. Steve Johnson says fuck Star Wars. Vigo Stockholm says WTF. Duke Chronic says Andre Dadbodsky. Oh shit! Speaking of Dadbodsky, Dadbodsky takes down. A, oh, takes down Shamil. Shamil gets right back up to the feet. Hmm. And nothing again. Good, you can read. <laughs> it's a brief bit of action. <laughs> you get so excited, it was cute. <laughs> Just a little uh, bit of action. <laughs> Jesse gave me leprosy, says Tominator. Uh, Drunk Savage says Michael Chapman only in the bedroom. Van Shipman says, JBH, how do you say, where are my nachos in pig Latin? Mm. Um, Erwa, ra, I'm uh, achos na. <laughs> yes. Werner Voss says, hello. Hello, Werner Voss. David what Gallant up? says, LOL. GGG or Canelo says right. Connor Wilson. There's a lot of people asking Triple G or Canelo. I have Triple G in this fight. I, I can't see Canelo winning this, right? I do have Triple G in this fight. The last fight, Canelo threw the kitchen sink at him, right? And Triple G just is like, I'm just going to eat punches and I'm just going to fucking murder you. And somehow they made it a draw. Triple G easily won that fight. I was rooting for Canelo. Canelo's my son. Of course I would root for my son. But um, I think Triple G is a little more dominating in this one. And I've feel Triple G will win this one. Now, with that being said, I am rooting hard for Canelo Alvarez because Clox is, says he'll give us a treat. So, oh, Arlovsky with a nice throw. 15 seconds left in a round. Could have solidified the round. Um, so, heart with Canelo, but I feel Triple G is going to win. What do you think? I got to go with Canelo. Really? Why? Because he's the son. Oh, he's my son. That's true. Okay. So, there you go. See? Jesse's with Clock. Um... I hope Canelo wins. I like Canelo. Uh, by the way, I think Arlovsky just won that round, which is interesting. We're going to go into a third round, and Shamil looking very, very tired. Let's look at the unofficial stats. Also, I want to touch base on Floyd Mayweather. I, I, I'm going to show it, all right? I'm going to show it over here. I don't know if you guys have seen this before, but um, I'm going to show it. Andre Arlovsky versus Shamil. Here's the first round over here. Statisticals 3 0 to 12. Nine to six. Canelo fainted. Did he? Oh, he came in light. I heard he came in really light. But here we go. Now, Arlovsky gets the throw at the end of the round. Even though the stats are in favor of Shamil, 38 to seven, 10 to three. I don't know. I think Arlovsky won it. We got a takedown over here. I think Arlovsky squeezed this round out. We are in Russia. So this could be something that is interesting in this fight um, in favor of Shamil. But... I'm going to go with a split fight, Jesse. Who do you think got the second round? Um, I want to give it to Orlovsky a little just because of the aggressiveness, but I'm, I might have to give it to Shamil. What? What, <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? So who did you pick? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, you don't care. Anyway, Arlovsky, no one gives a fuck about this fight. I wasn't really watching the first round, to be quite honest. 
All right, I'm going to show you guys something. This is the third round has begun. Arlovsky's fighting Shamil. Shamil with a spinning back fist coming in. Now, if you guys do want to donate, there is a link in the description. You can make the MMA horror talk, sing some songs. You could also hit up that super chat. But check this out. Floyd Money Mayweather. Aww, super chat. On Instagram. This was dropped very recently. So really, they're just yelling and screaming. Is it some horrible music in the background? It says, "I'm coming back to fight Manny Pacquiao this year. This year, what? Another nine-figure payday on the way. What the fuck? First of all, let's just talk about this. Mm -hmm. Right, we're already in September. So when the fuck this year are they gonna fight? Right? Right." And what are we doing, Floyd Mayweather? I also noticed that Floyd Mayweather enabled the comments. He usually disables these. He enabled it. So f do you want to see Floyd Manny 2? The first one sucked, to be honest. They fought way out of prime. And now he wants to get paid again and says, a nine-figure payday. What do you guys think in the chat? Jeanette says, LOL. Duke Chronic says, 29. <laughs> Joey Packer says, Floyd also drunk some Tiger Life, I see. Two Chronic says, two years in Vegas. Why'd you shake your head? Hmm? Why'd you shake your head? He did. He drank. He was drinking Tiger Life. Oh, okay. Yeah. Steve Johnson says, jumping up another fight card for competition of top draw. You listen too easy. E. Werner Voss says, Olympia Life says, I would never pay to watch Floyd fight anymore. Michael Chapman says, breaking news, the Canelo fight is off due to complications in the weight cut. Mm -hmm. Amit Swami says, hello, Russia. MMA Buds says, Olympia Low Life, exactly. Van Chipman says, I don't care anymore. Moist to hear says, Floyd is broke again, I-G. Drunk Savage says, it will be good for the MMA holes, so hope it happens. Yeah, it will be good for us. And I, it's funny you say that. I said the exact same thing to V-neck. By the way, it looks like another shot, a legal shot over here, nut shot. And this one on Orlovsky. Orlovsky puts his arms over the cage and is like, okay, I'm just going to let my bull sack. Or oh, is it an eye poke? Hold on a second. It might have been an eye poke. As we were too busy paying attention to Floyd Mayweather. Let's see. It looks like an eye poke. Yep, that's an eye poke. Uh, scratch the nut shot. It was a, a thumb in the eye. Nope, a pointer finger in the eye of Orlovsky. And Orlovsky is just seeing if he's okay. It looks to be okay. Arlovsky wearing more damage on his face than Olenek. And we are in the third round over here. Um, yeah, I agree with you, Drunk Savage. I think that I said it to Vinak. I was like, you know what? As much as I don't want to see Floyd Pacquiao, of course I want it to happen. I mean, the, the ratings would be through the roof, right? Yeah. So why would we not want to see that fight happen? Right, Jesse? Sure. So <laughs> I don't want to see it. I'm trying to. I don't want to see it. By the way, according to the MMA holes, uh, Canelo did pass out. He came in light. Canelo, is, he's not going to win. I, I, don't, I don't see it. I hope he does. Cover Triple G. You'll hit 4, 14K easy. He's 2.0. Yeah, you know, we're not, we're not in a rush anymore. Like, by the end of the year, my goal was to hit 15K. I actually have it on our little vision board over here. Yeah. And we're going to hit 15K by the end of the year. The Mayweather, um, the McGregor-Khabib fight. For Mayweather-McGregor, we got 20, uh, 2,500 subscribers in one night from that card. And this card is just going to be a mega card. We're going to get a lot of subs there. So if you want to sub, sub away. We've got 300 people watching. Looking to let Dragons loose tonight because I just like to play the Dragons. So at 13,400, we'll let the Dragons loose. But um, when it happens, it happens. You know, We're going to try to get live for Triple G and Canelo Alvarez. We'll see what happens. One minute and 25 seconds left in the fight. Arlovsky versus Shamil. And this is going to be a decision over here. The question is who sucks less, right? Canelo grasping for straws. Is Canelo going to try to pull a, uh, oh, what's it called? A Nico Montagna? Yes. Montagno? Montagno. Yeah. Jesse's making a thumbnail. What are you making a thumbnail for? Just in case. Oh, you're going to make the Canelo Triple G <laughs> thumbnail? Wow. It's just in case, guys. That's sneaky. Jesse's got some. Oh, shit. Another illegal stuff. Okay. What happened here now? Arlovsky's bent over, and that is a nut shot. Okay. Now, here's a question. <coughs> Shamil. With the eye poke. 
And now a nut shot. Is he going to get warned? Nope, not getting warned over here. But God, they're just dragging on this fight. I got Phone Kanye call. West. Who? Who my calls? Brother, my brother's calling me while we Who calls we're, during a live show? Who does? Who does that, brother? Why do you call during a live what, show? What are you doing? What are you? There's 300 people watching us right now. React to UFC Russia. What? What? What are you doing? So now we know that my brother does not watch the MMA. Right <laughs> okay, so there you go. There you go. Thank you, everyone else, for watching. Bro, I'm surprised MMA Holes hasn't hit a million subs. That's fucking crazy to me. Wake the fuck up, people. Hey, it's a slow burn over here. We got 20 more subscribers and we'll let dragons loose. So let's go. Let go. You're advertising Russia UFC live. What the fuck? No, it says reaction, Nathaniel. So you're advertising that you can't read. It says it's live fine. fight reaction. Okay, hold on a second. Let's just, we'll help him out for a second. All right, Jesse? Yes. You want to help him out? Sure. Do you, do you want to help? Are you sure you want to help him out? Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on a second. A dur, 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 dur. Here we go. Ah. Uh, hold on a second. What the fuck's going on here? There we go. Let's go here. All right. Give me a second. Yes. UFC Fight Night 136. UFC Russia Hunt versus Olenek. Blackowitz versus Krylov live fight a reaction. A dur 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 All right. Thank you for your contribution. Okay. So thank God this fight is over over here. We can move on to the co-main event. Let's move away. UFC 229 is not what we're watching. We're watching Andre Orlovsky versus Shamil Abdurkarimov. All right. Here we go. We're going to go to the live statisticals over here. A really shitty third round, 5 to 12, uh, 9 to 12 in favor of Shamil. Not in favor of the fans over here as we go to the official decision. Here's the first round. Here's the second round. And here's the third round. No one cares about this fight. No one will remember this fight. But let's listen to what <laughs> Bruce Buffer has to say. Does Andre Arlovsky get the get win? Get ready for that $40. All right. Three rounds. We go to judges. It is a unanimous decision. Orlovsky shakes his head no. Shamil gets the win, and we get a perfect. Shamil gets the win. Shamil gets the win. We get another perfect. The MMA holes get all their main event picks. White. What? White. <laughs> <laughs> White. <laughs> you just got racist. Right. It's wonderful, wonderful. Ma still can't believe you interviewed Raging Al last night, says Brian Royer. Yeah, Raging Al came on the show. This is how we do it. That's right. Check out the very end of our last video, and you can see Raging Al coming on saying he's going to beat Kevin Lee. And we asked him, are you going to knock out Kevin Lee? And he said to us, I hope so. The best. <laughs> I hope so. I love it. I love the guy. Raging Al needs to come on for an official, like, good hour spot on the show agreed. where we can just like go for it you know 100 percent agreed let me know what the ones if you want that yeah raging out came on last night good guy by the way when we do triton fights a lot of people are like why do you do triton fights we don't make much money off of doing triton fights but mm -hmm. we get to run into the fighters over there and we get to watch fights and it's Kate's fun side. it is fun it's a good time all right 20 more subscribers will we get it will we let the dragons loose there are two more fights on the card jan blackowitz had a, a couple of impressive wins on his uh, resume over here. Rises up to number four. And if you could check it out, three in a row. He beat the GOAT, Jimmy Manoa. He beat Cannoneer. And he beat our friend, Devin Clark. Three in a row. Two of those. One fight of the night and one performance of the night. Jan Blackowitz on a nice little run. Look at his opponent across the way. And he has a tough one here. Another tough one for Jan Blackowitz. Hold on. What the fuck? I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. Fuck me in the ass. My bad, I'm back. All right, what up, uh, Glant? Welcome back. <laughs> All right. Um, Nikita Krylov from the Ukraine, 24-5-0. and oh. This man is very dangerous and unranked fighter. You scroll down over here. He's coming off a loss. It's a submission, but he was on a four-fight win streak. Something to keep an eye on. on oh, a five-fight win streak, I'm sorry. Something to keep an eye on. All of his wins in that five-fight win streak are finishes. We got KO. We got a submission. We got a submission. All in the first round. We have a second round submission over here. And we have a second round KO. So here's the deal. When this guy fights, 
all you see when he look at his, his whole all his stats mm. everything is either a finish or a submission so he either goes out there to fucking strangle or knock someone out or get choked the fuck out so this fight is a guaranteed firefight but the question is right now on the mma holes live mystic and jbh get this one right yes mystic and jbh get this one white right and perfect and white and white and now it's time to see will mystic and jbh Run the table tonight on the MMA holes. Chris picks. Ask N. You may receive correct picks. Is what will achieve. Red beard, light skin, hold your girl tight. It's time for Mystic Moss to pick some fights. Every, Every time, time I, I pick, pick, I get them, them right. Russia. Take off the clothes and shut the, the lights. Light. Suck my dick. It's time to pick. Suck my dick. All right, Jesse. Yes. Well, I have some good news and bad news, Jesse. Tell me. Well, the bad news is we both picked the same guy. <gasps> the good news is we picked by a different outcome. So we'll, let's see what we got here. We both pick Jan Blackowitz for the win. We both pick submission, but I have him in the second round, and Jesse is going for the third round. That's How right, about that? motherfucker. Against a dangerous Nikita Krylov, but I just feel Jan Blackwitz on a little bit of a win streak right now. The number four ranked fighter has looked very impressive in the last couple of fights. So I'm, I'm just I'm riding the hot hand over here. I'm going Jan for the win. What the fuck do you guys have in the chat as we are guaranteeing our picks tonight? Moist Tahir says Krylov via KO. Conrad Kortzenecki says Lechi Normali Gala. Brian Rogers says Nikita Khrushchev. Versus JFK. A Russian is speaking Russian. Gentleman named Odie says, Really famous. I was just pointing out the obvious. Gay Agent says, Where are all the other ass monkeys? BLT's laughing in the chat. Stop says, Duh. Steve Johnson's laughing in the chat. Rostov61 speaks Russian. Gentleman named Odie says, Ass hats. Tominator says, Please let Yawn get fucked up. Russian speaking Russian. Russian questioning. Drunk Savage says, I'm going to go with Krylov just to be different. C Sparks says, Fireworks soon to come. Gentleman named Odie says, I meant MMA holes. C Sparks says, Krylov will remind. Brian Werger says, Yawn the hot right. David Flores Jr. says, ass face. Michael Chapman says, yawn. Paul Fahiz is definitely 20 on yawn. Rostov61 is speaking Russian. Another Russian is speaking Russian. Steve Johnson says, Krylov. Kevin from Ch Chicago says, I'm ready for this slab on slab crime. A gentleman named Modi says, ass to mouth. Aragon Knight says, fuck, I owe you guys 40 bucks. I'll keep my word. <laughs> Pr appreciate it. Very much, Aragon. BLT says BLT is saying BLT is saying. Michael Enzalone says, The MMA holes, instead of raging Al, how about the girl in the shorts? The dancer. <laughs> you you want that ring girl, huh? All right, I'm going to take, take a leak, Jesse. Look into the chat room. Look into their eyes right now as we are about to go to the co-main event of the evening. By the way, we are available on iTunes, available on Podbean. If you want the audio version of our weekly shows, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, you can check us out as an audio thing. So go, yo, go check us out on Podbeam. Download the shit out of our podcast over there. And also subscribe to the MMA Holes because we are looking to get to 13,400 tonight and we will let the dragons loose. Jesse, the chat room is yours. All mine. You guys are all mine. Let's just take a minute here. We're gonna take a minute here. We're gonna settle down. Everyone calm down. 325 people watching. We're getting ready to watch the next fight. Blackowitch versus Krylov. I love you. I love you too. Vito definitely marks as Paul Fahey. Pr please bring the man back. He's taking a piss right now, so calm down. Bring it on, JBH. Van Shipman. I will. Take that Jesse. shirt off. No. We're gonna sit here. And listen to this beautiful song. Beautiful song. Nikita Krylov's Keys to Victory. Star fast. Combination striking. Take the back. Don Blackowitz. Put on some Lionel Richie says BLT. Uh, Yannick says Patricius Rapala. Cringe, says Moist Tahir. Ah, that's nice, says Paul Fahey. 
JBH is the fucker being condescending. Is this fucker being condescending? Talking shit about MMA holes. Who are we talking about, David Flores? Drone Pilot UK says, where is this guy? Bring him back. He's right here. JBH, you will be a $20 million actress. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Brian Roycher. Sure. Chris escaped the basement. What I like about Fight Pass cards is this. They roll out the fights really quick. The co-main event is getting going. This thing will be probably done by around 4 p.m. over here. Yes. And then we have to shoot out and go to an event tonight. But maybe, just maybe, we can find a way to be live for Triple G and Canelo. You have to be subscribed to find out. 13,380 subscribers. Now it's time to find out. Will we hit... 13,400 tonight or today on the MMA Holes. If you have not subscribed, now is the time to do it. Become part of the swollest MMA community on YouTube. We are also live on the MMA Holes.com. There is a 24 7 message board that you can go and check out and talk MMA and all other dysfunctional bullshit. But now is the time to su subscribe. Let him go! <laughs> Damn the man, huh? Because we are... Wonderful, wonderful. All right. Jan Blackowitz is walking into the cage. Jan Blackowitz, the number four ranked UFC fighter, is about to fight Nikita Krylov. We're going to react to two more fights, and then we're going to bounce. A last call news. What up? Last call news. See? That's a smart person right there. Smart people. That person wants to see some dragons. Clearly. Subscribe, you Fuchs is drunk savage. And the reason why, you know, we can't say it enough. The reason why you want to do this is because you want to be part of the movement early. You want to be part of this crazy community over here super early. This way you could look back and say, I was 13,381 when we hit a billion subscribers. Yes. We're going to be the first MMA channel to hit 1 billion subscribers. Guess what I have? What do you got? What do you got, Jesse? I may or may not have just made. Don't worry, I was not clocking out of the show. I may or may not have just made a Canelo Triple G thumbnail. So maybe we'll be live. Maybe we won't. You must be subscribed to find out. But right now, Jan Blackowitz is about to fight Nikita Krylov, guaranteeing a finish. I say submission second round by Jan. Jesse says, third round submission. Jan is in the cage, giving his respect. Jan seems like a really cool dude. Big guy for the weight class over here. And we are about to get this party started. We have a clock up in the corner on top of our cell phone. The first MMA channel to put a cell phone on the screen with a live chat in it. So everyone else could lick my balls. There we go. All right, here we go. Check this out. Evan Aguilar, you are wonderful, wonderful. wonderful 35 wonderful. years old is Jan Blackowitz. 26 is Nikita Krylov. 6'3", Krylov. 6'2", Blackowitz. 205, both fighters. 78, reach. 77.5 for Nikita Krylov. All right, Jesse, you feeling confident Krylov. about your Jan? Jan's nine years older in this fight. I'm still feeling confident in him. Okay. It's a big kick, Krylov, huh? Go live tonight or I'll suicide myself via cops. What? What's up, Rostov61? I cannot read what you're saying, but welcome. Listen to his entrance music. That's reason one. Uh, number one, that Russian Russia would fuck us up in war. Americans like Takashi. Hmm. How about this? Nikita Krylov doing jumping jacks, Jesse. He is pumped up. He's got a little Maybe hair patch. Maybe he'll win. Do you think he'll win by via jumping jack? Yeah. <laughs> Do you? Uh, hmm. Yes, I win every morning by jump. I haven't done jumping jacks in a minute. I do weird jumping jacks because I have bad shoulders. So yeah, I do weird. I do How do you do jumping jacks? Show I us do, right I now. I do them up like this. Let's see. Like Let's see your jumping jacks. If I jump, if I do jumping jacks, the world will collide. Like all worlds will collide, and people's penises will explode with semen. So I don't want to do that today. Mm. Maybe on Monday. Maybe on the Monday show I'll do it. Okay. At work, watching this right now. What's up, Jose Alvarado? Watching from work. Shout out to Jose. That's, that's Hi, Jose. That's a swole. That's a swole peep Jose, right there. Jose, 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 Jose. So here's the deal. Mark Garda, Mark, 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 I can't talk today. Fuck. After party last night. Mark Goddard is the referee for this fight. It's the co-main event. 
We're going to talk you through it. If you can't get it, it's on Fight Pass. If you don't have Fight Pass or you can't find a stream, we're going to describe the fight as best as the MMA holes do, very uncomfortably, awkwardly. And That's here we go. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. Da 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 da. Jan Blackowitz Red. Krylov with the blue. The first round has begun of three. Krylov looking very fast. Coming in with some kicks. Jan with a nice kick to the body, followed by a left. Whoa. Krylov with a winging left that completely misses. Krylov is fucking amped up. The youngster is hopping around the cage. Very, very light on his feet. Krylov, like I said before, every fight he's been in, there's either been a finish or mm -hmm. has been a finish. Oh, Krylov with a takedown. Jan is trying to weather the storm of Krylov. Ukraine on top of Jan Blackwitz. Jan Blackwitz is on a three-fight winning streak. And Krylov is looking to be the one to foil the plan. Jan has him in his guard right now. Krylov looking to do work. Do you think this is going to be Krylov's first decision fight, Jesse? Yes. You do. Uh-oh. Jan Blackwitz going for the arm. Krylov does a good job pushing him back. And now into his guard again. Krylov with those long arms. Boom. Trying to drop some shots from top. Blackwood's doing a good job just holding him up from the bottom. Blackwood's in a little bit of trouble. Gets that leg up and he's trying to get that arm bar going. Trying to set that shit up. Krylov doing a good job shaking it off. Trying to slice in some elbows in between. A little shoulder bump inside the guard by Krylov. Krylov, Blackowitz, this is the co-main event. UFC Russia, the first time ever the UFC is in Russia. Kevin Kosa says, MMA holes is my crack. Wonderful. We're a goddamn Wonderful. drug over here, the MMA holes. What's up? We got 300 <laughs> peeps watching. Uh oh Jan going for the arm again. Cannot get it as Krylov introduces the elbow to Blackowitz's face. Every time Jan Blackowitz tries to get that leg up high, Krylov makes him pay. Interesting uh, exchange between the two inside this guard here. Blackowitz is wait, 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 and trying to get the leg up going for the arm bar. And then, wow, Blackowitz puts the butterfly in and tries to shove off Krylov and is getting back up. As he gets up, Krylov greets him with a guillotine attempt, but in a bad position. Blackowitz inside control right now as Krylov has the neck, but not in the right place for this. Krylov is trying to do some work now from the back. Agreed, Cry JLW. This card has been a little shitty. Yeah, well, I mean, what do you expect? I mean, if you on paper, it's nothing to get super excited about, right? Yeah. But um, we are in the co-main event, and Blackwitz is in side control right now. Blackwitz completely flipped the script. We have a change of domination as Blackwitz in side control, very up high. And be careful here. We might see a choke as Blackwitz is trying to set something up with two minutes left in the first round. Plenty of time in the first round. Blackwitz is trying to pin the left, the right arm of Krylov. Now it's looking. He's oh, knee over the face. Ball sack in the face of Krylov. Blackowitz has the nutsack firmly on the ear of Krylov. Krylov is eating cup right now as Blackowitz scoots over to the other side and now has side control on the opposite side of Krylov's body. One minute, 35 seconds left in the first round. Krylov versus Blackowitz. Wright's coming down from Blackowitz. Now we have some forearms hitting the, far, uh, the forehead of Krylov. You think Blackowitz has enough to get it done here. There's one minute and 15 seconds left and Krylov doing a good job slipping a leg in. Still on his back though. Not crazy amount of action, but it's fascinating to watch these two on the ground. This is not a stand-up banger. This is a ground war between the two and Blackowitz is inside the guard of Krylov. So Krylov slickly pulls him in and now we have a half guard. Blackowitz still on top doing work, and the grinding attempt of Blackowitz might have stole the round here as the first part of it, Krylov looked very good. 35 seconds left. He looks like he's about to cry. He's about to Krylov. Wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. 
If this is what you're <laughs> looking for, well, you found the fight reaction. Of all fight reactions, UFC fight buddies. That's right. We are your fight buddies for every single UFC event. Round one has wound down, and it looks like Blackowitz flipping the script. Got the first round to me. Jesse, what do you think? 232 control time, 144, 19. Definitely to Blackowitz. 22. Eight significant to two, and one takedown for Krylov. I mean, the first half of the round, Krylov looked very, very good. And then Blackowitz flipped it up and has more control time. Let me know in the chat. What do you think? What do you think? Feel her, says Scuba CX. Four more likes, and we hit the 100 likes. Thank you for liking this video. 13,382 subscribers. Nice stuff. I just, just chopped my veins. She's taking her VIP wristbands off. So Krylov, we got a couple of Krylovs in the chat. Peeps are saying that Krylov got the first round. You know what? I can't really argue it. Swirloslaw. Uh, I'm going to go with Blackwitz in the first round. It's a close one because Krylov did start off very good. But um, I'm going to go with Blackwitz with the first round over there. That's all I'm going to say. But you never know. If it goes to a decision, you never fucking know. Right? You never we got Poland know. versus the U uh, Ukraine right now. Both fighters touching gloves. We just started the second round. The second round has begun. Thank you to 13,383 on the subscribers. Yeah. Getting closer, Jesse. Mm -hmm. All right. Four minutes, four or five in the second round left. And we are back in business. Blackowitz with the kick to the body wiped away by Krylov. Blackowitz going for a single leg and goes for the back of Krylov on the feet. Krylov fighting him and Blackowitz using the strength and oh. just drags him to the floor. Krylov, that was actually pretty smart on Krylov's part of not letting him get those locks around him. Well, yeah, he's he he got him away from the back, but he is on his back. Now Krylov with the rubber guard trying to make it very trick, tricky for Blackowitz. Blackowitz just too strong. Just cruises to side control once again. Ooh, this is going to be a bad one for Krylov. Now I picked... What did I pick? Oh, Jan, here it goes. Second round submission, Jesse. Get ready, Blackowitz kids. Blackowitz just needs to get that right arm locked underneath, and then he'll have his arm up by his head. Boom. Choke. You think he's going to choke him here? Oh, yeah. All right. Let's see. Watch this. Watch. Watch Blackowitz lock his arms. Blackowitz is, is readjusting as Krylov is just kind of locking on, trying to get stood up here. But you're not going to get stood up in this position. As Blackowitz... Watch. Watch it happen. Watch it happen. They can't watch. They're watching us. Well, watch us and watch it happen. <laughs> watch us watch it happen. There you go. Uh, so Blackowitz is doing some work from side control as Krylov does not have an answer for the, the ground work of Blackowitz. Not pretty, but effective. Blackowitz scooting around, putting the nutsack back in the face of Krylov. Seems to be an attempt that he likes to pull off a lot. Felony. What up, Felony Live? What up, Felony? We got 100 likes, 20 likes. 20 oh, my likes, God. 100, 100. Wow, 100 likes. 20 likes. Hey, thank you for the likes. I wouldn't have it any other way, says David Flores. Who do you have uh, for the main event? We're going to tell you very shortly, so stick around. Two minutes and 40 seconds left in the second round of Blackowitz versus Krylov. Uh, Blackowitz, I thought he was going to go for the back there, but swooped around to the other side. And here is that choke, Jesse. Here it is. Told you. Here it comes. What did I say? Well, Krylov is trying to fight this off. Blackwoods is going to choke his ass out right here. Here it is. There's the tap. But Mystic Moss, another perfect. I give it to you for the win. <laughs> but... I got the choke. Did I not predict the choke? No, I predicted it. You predicted a third round submission. I said all he needs to do is bring his arm up over to his head, and he's got a choke. But and that's you did exactly say submission. What he did. You did submission. You did say third round. But <laughs> it doesn't matter because we both got it right, and we are in fact three for three on the main card. All we do is get our predictions right here on the MMA holes. So never d doubt us. Never doubt us. Never, 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 never doubt us. That's right. Wow, perfect. Two perfects in a row for me. Slap hands. Should we do it? Scuba says so. Should we so. do it? Should we do it? Should we do it, Jesse? <laughs> Wrong one. <laughs> Wrong one. Wait, that's not it? <laughs> Change. What do you mean? That's it? No? No, that's not it. 
80s fist grab come oh god did black witch win <laughs> yeah Blackowitz. Blackowitz. All right, there we go. The goddamn celebrity trophy making an appearance live in the MMA holes. We are getting all our picks tonight right, or today right, on the MMA holes. 3.37 p.m. And Blackowitz just choked out his opponent in the second round. Goddamn celebrities. This is the main event of the evening. Mark Hunt versus Olenek. Sorry. Alexei Olenek. That is the main event of the evening. Now, some may say, who gives a fuck? But I like when Mark Hunt fights, right? I'm a fan of the Hunts. There's one problem that I have with this fight. And the problem is this. 79% submission, right? Over here on the Olenek side. And you know how Mark Hunt loves to fucking lay on the ground and get fucking smothered. So that could be a problem. But we're going to find out right now. Because we are three for three. And we're going to find out what our picks are. Do we run the table on the MMA holes for UFC Russia? You're going to find out right now. Main events. Askan, you may receive correct picks. Is what will achieve. Red beard, light skin, hold your girl tight. Yes. It's time for Mystic Moss to pick some fights. Fat. Suck my dick. It's time to pick. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I have some good news and I have some bad news, Jesse. Who do you want first? Bad news always comes first. Well, the bad news is this, Jesse. We both picked different fighters in this fight. Indeed, we did. You want to know the good news? What's the good news? There will be one person on UFC Russia who got all their picks right. All of their picks right. Let's look at the odds. Mark Hunt. Well, Mark Hunt is giving points over to Olnick, but it's a very close one. Virtually identical over here. And Mark Hunt versus Olnick is the main event gonna of be the me. evening. I'm going to be the one who gets all my picks right. Who'd you pick? Olenek. Olenek. How do you pers- How do you see this win? Ka. Submission. Round three. Ooh. I'm going with Mark Hunt. And I say a knockout in the same round, the third round. Now, this fight over here, I was going to pick Olnick. I actually was going to pick him because, honestly, this is what scared me. Like I said in the, in the beginning, this, this submission shit, 79%, makes me a little nervous. And also, another thing that makes me nervous is this. If you look at Mark Hunt and you scroll down a little bit over here, hmm. Unanimous decision. He's got his knockout over here over Derek Lewis, which shocked the fuck out of me, by the way. And, you know, I mean, you know, he's up, down, up, down with his record. In fact, Mark Hunt, he's all over the place with his record, right? He's had some shitty losing streaks and he has some amazing win streaks. Regardless, Mark Hunt is a goddamn savage. And this one, I didn't pick with my brain, but I picked with my heart. And I'm going to pick Mark Hunt for the win. And I want that knockout by the 700-year-old man who doesn't age. The slim shady, the, well, the fat shady of the UFC, Mark Hunt. All right, chat room, who do you have? Moise Tahir says Mark Hunt via belly dance. Van Chipman says Hunt KO round dos. Starvin Marvin says walk away KO. Olympia Low Life, he is a warrior. Flat Earth Deacon, walk off KO coming up. Do chronic. Hunt only had a few fights left. Pablo Escobar says MMA holes sucks. Da Bear 2 says, what round did he KO that old fuck? Paul Fahey says, Mark Hunt KO, but in the second. Kevin from Chicago, Polsky. Da Bear 2 says, round. Kai Noda 74, if Jesse's prediction is right, Hunt is going to accuse her of using PEDs. Winter Bell, wonderful, wonderful. what time is the Hunt fight? I want to see him throw some coconuts. <laughs> Duke Chronic says, he didn't do roids, so. Drunk Savage says, Olenek with the upset submission, round 2. Michael Chapman says, Hunt by Boomerang. Steve Johnson's laughing in the chat. Flatter Deacon says, hunt by girth. Dauber 2, hunt by first degree murder. Aragon Knight, gay agent, I want to put my dick inside your... Ooh. Starvin' Marvin, hunt got thrown under the bus by Dana. Lesnar is a cheat. 
Are you a Hunt fan? Says Yariki. You know, who isn't a Hunt fan? I mean, some people may not like the fact that he's complaining about all the steroid users, but I, I don't know, man. I like the fact that he just doesn't give a fuck. He don't care, right? Mark Hunt goes in there. This man is pushing. What is he, 43 now? Hold on a second. Let's look at the, uh, how old he? He's 44 years old. <laughs> he's 44. He's 44 years old, Mark Hunt. And I have to say, he looks exactly the same. He doesn't, he doesn't change. He, right, Jesse? He looks it's exactly the same. because he's Hawaiian and Hawaiians never age. Or and Samoans never age. Maybe he's a mythical creature. I mean, how about the old days where this dude would travel all over the world and just play punch face, just let himself just eat punches over and over again and not give a fuck? Mark Hunt, a legend, 44 years old, and his tits get better at age, Jesse. <laughs> right? Look at them yeah. tits. Yeah. They're fucking fantastic. Tell me, tell me you don't want to suck on those tits. Uh huh? You don't want to suck on Mark Hunt's tits? I, every time I see Mar a picture of Mark Hunt, I think I want to suck on those titties. You know, people from Australia, what do they do? It's called a shoey. I don't know if they do that in New Zealand. Oh, right? yeah, when they drink out of the shoe, right? Yeah. But in New Zealand, what they do is the titty. They, they suck out of Mark Hunt's <laughs> tit, right? That's true. Yeah. All right. Insane stuff here. Maybe he's a vampire. He doesn't, he doesn't age. He looks exactly the same. His hair, right? Look, it's, it's always blonde, right? It's natural, right, Jesse? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. anyway, I'm going with my heart with this one. I have a bad feeling about my pick, but I'm going to go for it. Alexi Olnick is Jesse's pick. Make Olenek. sure you let us know. Or a Nick. Or a Nick. All right. Fight buddies. Thank you for joining us. This is the last fight of the day. And then we got to get the flock out of here. So we're going to do a hard cut get right the after this. Get out of here. We got to get out of here. So after the stream, we're bouncing, we're leaving. And it was a good time. And never coming back. Never? Never. You mean we're never coming back after this? This is the last fight on the MMA holes ever? Get your last minute subs in right now. Uh, that was my Mystic Moss face. Yes. Did you like it? I loved it. <laughs> it was wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, 13, 3, 8, 5. We are only 15 subscribers away with 316 people watching. Only 15 away from getting those dragons to jump across this stream and grace you with their presence. The only MMA show with dragons, and you can let them out. So get it out there. Let the dragons out. Make sure you subscribe to the greatest MMA channel on YouTube. We'll be live again on is. Monday night for the Monday show. But there is a second channel called Not the MMA Holes. Link in the description. And we do gaming streams over there. So if you guys want some more cringe, well, check that shit out. It looks like tomorrow we're going to be streaming. All right. Here we go. Your boy, your boy, yo, is walking to the cage. Olenek, Jesse, you feeling confident? Hoist Gracie style walkout. Yeah. That's right. Got the hood on, the UFC swag, unzipping it right now. Looking at his corner people, nice smile on his face, looks very confident. This man is 41 years old. Wow, we have 85 years of age walking into this cage tonight as a main event. What is good? This is such a Bellator fight, it's ridiculous. What's up from Russia? Uh, Seprin, right? Or oh, Keprin? Would you like a granola bar before this fight starts? Sure. Okay. Hey, we got an MMA hole. What up, Jetty Fett? Thank you for joining in. You got in just in time. 13,387 is your number, so hold your ticket and let us know when we when uh, we hit a billion subscribers. All right, Olenek is drying himself off, getting ready to walk into that cage. The old boys are showing up for UFC Russia. It's going to be wonderful, wonderful. Jesus, she is tall, says Duke Chronic. Jesse's seven foot tall. I bet you didn't know that. Look at it. The ceiling is right above her head. She's seven feet tall, right? Look at that. These are fiber bars. So we have healthy bowel movements. <laughs> and Jesse's dancing. And Jesse's humping. And I wait patiently. Oh, there we go. All right. All right, Jesse. Explain mm -hmm. what you see or what you could eat. I'll let you eat first. You explain what you see, and okay. then I'm going to scarf this thing down. All right, so Jesse's gonna hit the casting couch over there. Shout out, and there's the bomb. Oh, we didn't feed the we didn't feed Mr. Potted Plant. You fed him? Okay, the Potted Plant is fed. Make sure, hey, what's up? Welcome to the MMA Holes. Make sure you check us out on Podbean. We have an audio version of the show for our weekly shows. It's a Podbean. Just look for the MMA Holes. That's it. iTunes. If you have iTunes, check us out on iTunes. 
Got the audio going. We just got it going, and we're fucking slaying it on iTunes. Whatever we touch is gold here on the MMA Holes. Shout out to our sponsors, Tiger Life Energy, ARN Insulation, and Duplex Entertainment. Last minute subscribers, Knoxville News. What's in the Knoxville News, right? There you go. Over there. Get your name heard and seen. Become a goddamn celebrity because this fight's about to get going. Mark Hunt versus Alexei Olenek. All right. All right. All right. All right. Who do you guys have in the chat? Let me know last minute. Let me know. Let me know. Olenek. Jesse has Olenek. I have Hunt. Olenek is going back and forth in the cage. And Mark Hunt is about to walk in. Mark Hunt, 44 years of age. Mark Hunt with still hellfire in his hands. Not giving it up. Like, fuck it. I'll fight in Russia. I'll keep dyeing my hair blonde. Let's do this. Chris, who is your favorite fighter in UFC? Right now, I have three fighters, right? Three guys I go for. Okay. These are just, you want to answer the question? No. Okay. Three fighters I go for. Okay. Derek Lewis, the Black Beast, who lost to Mark Hunt. Um, Daniel Cormier, man, I was a Daniel Cormier for a long time before he was the double champ goat, right? In fact, I told John Jones that I'm a big fan of Daniel Cormier. And what did John Jones do, Jesse? He walked off camera. He did. He walked away from me. He was he was upset. He was he was shook. He was triggered. So if you want to see that, go check out MMA Superstars and you can see that. Um and Conor McGregor, of course, right? Now I know Russia is in attendance right now, so welcome my Russian friends. But I'm sorry. I hate to break this to you. I hate to break all your hearts right now. But Conor McGregor will beat Khabib Nurmagomedov. Doubtful. It's going to happen. You boys get knocked out. And I like Khabib. You're very handsome. I know. I like Khabib. <laughs> I like Khabib a lot. Actually, he's um he's up there. But Connor's got his number. Mark Hunt walking into the cage right now has a slew of people. A little entourage as he's walking in there. UFC Russia, the first event, is about to wind down. Hopefully we see a fabulous finish. A wonderful, wonderful finish. Let's read a couple of comments from the chat as we are cruising to an end. Pablo Escobar says, Jesse, show some ass. John says, Connor, yeah. Olympia Low Life says, LOL, nope. Michael Knight says, LOL. John, oh, Steve Madden says, ha. Starvin Marvin says Connor will KO Khabib 100%. Pulse Resurrected says, Who is your third favorite fighter? Steve Madden says Connor equals CM Punk. Audrevon Camago says, I love Brazil. Olenek, Olenek, Olenek with an angry face. Remy Bonjaski one says Yariki. Mike Hunt says, Cold man. Duke Chronic says Connor has something Khabib will never have is that IT or that it factor. Is Moss and JBH in a sexual relationship? Yes, Staley OT says JBH looks like she is related to Dave Grohl. Thank you, Staley. Al Fish says I walk a walk off as much needed. Jesse shows some tits. No, Steve Marvin speaks the truth. Says Paul Fahi. Hunt first round KO says M. Barrist. Drunk Savage says show the fights, faggot. Steve Madden. Habib nuts in Devlin's at fine ass. Kainoto seventy four says Mac is the undisputed social media champ. Bojanski says. Pulse Resurrected. John says Connor will KO Khabib. Winterbell says, what you eating? Duke Chronic says, Nate Diaz said, F that it factors, so he had a chance. Michael Knight says, if Khabib tries boxing, running in with his on hand down, it's a wrap. And Bear says, Hunt KO round one. Celia 2 says, the yawn fighter looked like a manlet. Josh Barnett. Tail of the tape, 44 is Mark Hunt, 41 is Olenek, 5, 10, 6, 2. 265 is Hunt, 235 Olenek, 72 inch reach for Hunt, and an 80 inch reach for Olenek, an 8 inch difference in reach between the two fighters. Bruce Buffer is announcing the main event of the evening. I have a wonderful muffin ass as gay agent. Davey4662 says, let me see your clam. No. Pablo Escobar says, I'm a devil worshiper. Yariki says, welcome to Japan. Brian Roger says, JBH skipped my twerk comment, lol. Uh -oh. Chat's not gay, says Mike Hunt. Herb Dean. Uh-oh. Herb Dean, you think he allows another death? Yes. The last fight of the preliminaries, Dalloway was clearly done, and Herb Dean just let him catch a beating from hell. 
from Khalid. The fight was clearly over, and I would say an extra 30 seconds of unnecessary punishment went down. Not even sure what Herb Dean was doing. Really, really bizarre. That was a, a strange one right there. And I wouldn't be surprised if you saw a Dana White post about this one because honestly, Dalway could have he could have died. <laughs> you know, he could have fucking died. Herb Dean's usually good. Like this guy's usually on point. That one was a little shocking to me. But it is what it is. Hopefully Dalway lives after tonight. Here's the main event of the evening. Almost 400 people watching. Welcome, Russia. Jesse, you pumped up. Super pumped. We're going to react to the last fight, the main event. Five rounds. 41 years old versus a 44 years old Mark Hunt. Now, we picked all of our fights right, all three. Jesse, myself, now it's time to find out who will run the table for the main event. Jesse has Olnick. I have Mark Hunt. And here we go. Here we go. We are live. We have 11 more subscribers. And we will let the dragons loose. 11 more subscribers with 400 people watching. Yeah. Let's go. Get into the sub box. Let's let the dragons fly. Let's go. Let's go. We have three shows a week. Monday, Wednesdays, Fridays. Mark Hunt puts his hand in the air like he just don't care. He looks the same fucking age, right? Terminator, we do scissor each other every night. Don't we scissor? Yeah, we do. It's true. All the time. We're scissor buddies. <laughs> Jason says, get Herb out of that cave, fucking cage. Okay. That was really uncomfortable to watch. Really, really uncomfortable to watch. All right. Herb Dean in the middle of the two fighters right now. Olnick Hunt. I want to see Hunt swing for the fences. And she wants to see Olnick probably lay on top of him and hump the fuck out of him, right? And you got a, you got a submission in the third round. Hey, what's up? Alexis Donaldo Ayala Diaz. Welcome to the MMA Holes. Only nine more. We let those dragons loose. Thank you to the new subs for joining in on this crazy community. All right, here we go. Olnick shakes his head. Yes, he's ready. Both fighters touching gloves. Mutual respect. And here we go. Olenek is the one a little aggressive here. Olenek does have a chin. We've seen it before. But Mark Hunt, does he still have that pop in that right hand? The super Samoan who is rocking a lot more ink on the chest, on the arms, the Polynesian work, right? Is that Polynesian tattoos? I think he has going down this way. Samoan. Samoan. Is that what it is? The Rock has, well, who knows? Anyway, uh, Olenek coming in with some swinging shots. Mark Hunt wants to, you you got to think Mark Hunt wants to play on the feet, right? That's where he wants to stay. So let's see if it stays there. Olenek is moving forward. He is the aggressive. Mark looking to counter with the right. Mark Hunt circling around, circling, 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 cocking back the right hand, lunges forward, head into the chest of Olenek. Olenek with that oblique kick on Mark Hunt. Mark Hunt breathes in, wings a right, and misses on Olenek's head. We got a new subscriber over here. What's up, Igor? To the MMA holes. Olenek comes in, comes in. Mark Hunt is going to catch him. If Olenek keeps on diving in, you see how he has that head down, but he's kind of like lurking in? I feel mm -hmm. Mark is going to tag him. Mark Hunt versus Olenek. We got a number Olenek eight Hunt. actually extremely calm right now. Surprising. Yeah, he's got a lot of experience, right? He's been around for a minute. Olenek is 56, 11, and 1. Wow. Now, Mark Hunt's fought all over. Oh, the right lands by Hunt. Olenek gives him a thumbs up. <laughs> look at Mark Hunt. Mark Hunt's like, yeah, I know. I got you. See that, that look? He's like, I know. I know that hurt. Olenek gave him a thumbs up. Not many times you see a punch land. And you're like, yeah, that was cool. Thumbs up. That felt awesome. Credit to Olenek for eating it. Mark Hunt, the king of the walk-off. 44 years old. Can he get another win? Hunt rode whales as a child. Yeah, that's true, Starvin' Marvin. He did. He rode uh, killer whales. Well, I think Olenek is hungry in this fight. So Maybe Mark Hunt rode the hunt back whale. Yes. Eighties fifth grade game. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. That was fantastic. Thank you. Thank I, you. I actually I'm here all night. I'm very impressed. The hunt back well. Alright, uh two minutes and twenty five seconds left in the first round of five. Mark Hunt rocking those red gloves. Olenek rocking the blue gloves. According to the UFC though, oh they they go by the trunks. Okay, so forget it. What does Mark have? Oh, a nice leg kick by Hunt. Beautiful leg kick. Mark Hunt feeling it now. He's whipping. He's 
going like this, got the arms going around to his Leota Machida, his fat Leota Machida. Do you want to reenact this fight with me? Sure. Okay. You got to shave your head into a, a receding mohawk like uh, Olnik has. Should yeah. I, when my hair starts to go, should I shave Can a receding mohawk? It, well, oh, Here's Mark Hunt swings off. Olenek comes lunging in and, and Hunt just throws him. The interesting part is this, this is a five round fight. This Do you could think get your really hair is going to go for a while? It probably will. Seriously. Next year. Uh, Olenek trying to come in, trying to grab. Oh, Olenek lands a nice left on Hunt. Oh, Hunt gets dropped. Hunt stumbles. The left lands by Olenek and Hunt stumbled. Wow. You don't really see that much. Hunt is 44. So, I mean, how much left? And Hunt looks like he's a little tired here. Hunt stuffs the takedown by Olenek, and this is going to be a problem. Olenek going for the back. Hunt fighting the hands. And this is where Hunt does not want to be. Hunt gets taken down by Olenek. Hunt looks like shit. Oh, my God. He's not in his prime anymore. Hunt spread out. Yeah, Mark Hunt does not look good. Olenek has the back with one minute left in the round. One minute left. Olenek has the back. Looking good for Jesse right now. 55, 4, 3, 2 seconds left in the round. Can Hunt fight the hands? So something happened. Hunt got dropped, right? Got back up, and he was huffing and puffing. Whether his bell got <gasps> rung. 35 seconds. Uh oh, Olenek with the right hand goes under the neck of Hunt. A quick tap. Olenek for the win. Jesse, clean sweep. Gets the submission, too. Olenek chokes him out. Just like I said, man, I just feared that submission. Oh, I should have went with my heart. Mystic JBH gets the win. We got a subscriber over here, Josh. Jesse Celebrate running the table for the first time. <laughs> Look at that. Holy shit, if you're just jumping in, Mark Hunt gets submitted by Olenek, and I'm not surprised. I, it was a fear. Remember I said that, Jess? It's a fucking fear. I should have... I went... I, Mark Hunt's career God. is done now. <laughs> His career He looked like shit. Mark Hunt looked like... I mean, listen, he's 44 years old. So what are you going to say? Jeremiah White says Hunt looked awful. This is the worst I've ever seen Hunt look. He was huffing and puffing. He looked like he didn't even want to be there. Well, Hunt filled in on this fight, right? He did fill in. Right? Wasn't this supposed to be Verdum or some shit? Although he did have... Uh, some time to train for this thing, but Jesus Christ. Jesse gets the win. Fantastic job. Jesse, this is the first time you ran the table on a main event. Every fight on wow. the main card. Holy shit. Mystic JBH over here. Look at that. Mystic every fight. Every fight on the main card. Unbelievable over there. Unbelievable stuff. UFC Russia is complete. And how about this? A lot of finishes on this card, right? A lot of finishes. Let's see if we can refresh this thing. Okay, let's see what we got over here. And Olenek gets the win. Nice big win for Olenek. Mark Hunt, man, how much time does Mark Hunt left, have left? Right? All right, so a round one finish by Olenek. The submission by Blackowitz in the co-main event happened. The second round. Third round, three round, unanimous decision by Shamil. Uh, Alexei Kunchenko gets a unanimous decision over there. All right, all right, all right. Uh, Mertz, is, I can't fuck. Khalid gets the win over here. A second round KOTKO. And it says retirement. So it looks like CB Dalloway has retired over there. And this fight, man, I didn't hear what happened over here, but apparently CB Dalloway retired thanks to Herb Dean. So CB Dalloway, <laughs> it's, been a real, it's been a real nice run, CB. Wow, he looks young there. Anyway, UFC Rush is what we reacted to. UFC 229 is right around the corner, but there is one more card before that that we get to watch together as a family. Jimmy Manoa. That's right. Jimmy Manoa will be back, and this is a firefight over here. Santos, Manoa, main event action for UFC. Where are they? San Paulo, Brazil. Interesting stuff. They always try to put it together in Brazil. Last comments from the chat. What do we got going on over here? We have 119 likes. Thank you for the likes. Only seven more subscribers. And we let the dragons loose. 381 people watching. Now is the time. Subscribe to the MMA Holes and we will end the show with dragons flying. Jesse, you pumped up. Do you think it will happen? Seven more subscribers. We only have about five minutes to keep this going and we're going to shut this thing down. Seven more subscribers. And we let... 
The dragon's loose. <laughs> UFC <laughs> Russia <laughs> is over. And now we're on to the next card. We're going to be live again for the MMA Holes Hour on Monday. Jesse, read a couple of comments and we're going to shut this shite down. Jason Lee says, fuck her. Dean Canelo Triple G will be a draw again, says Staley 2 Starvin Marvin says, MG just fully gifted Hunt to Samoa and Joy. Gary Bandit said with Williamson, Hunt on a spit for teeth. He is done. Drunk Savage says, I have no idea. Use Streamlabs. Muhammad Mesbahi says, take us home. Where girl says, a Russian Steve Johnson is David Flores Jr. It was all the name Sterling. I couldn't remember thanks to Steve Sparks. Glenn Fukin Allen says, Hunt lives in Australia, LOL. Flatter Chicken says, 20 likes. Post Resurrection says, West Side Mafia. Kainoto 74. Hunt loses via Russian mob. He did nothing. Just let them fly free, you faggot, says Alfish. Hey, love you guys, says Josh. Marina Live is speaking Russian. Jay Smith says, everyone watching Triple G versus Canelo tonight. Enjoy that shit. I'm picking Triple G. Smiley face. All right. Thank you. Thank you for joining us tonight. Only five more subscribers. Only six more subscribers. And we will let the dragons loose. At the end of the 20 likes song, we are going to end the show. Thank you for joining us. 20 likes. 20 likes. Get them in. Bruce Buffer fucking that 20 one more time. JBH MMA Holes will see you on Monday. Check out our second channel, Not the MMA Holes. And we will be live most likely tomorrow for our Spider-Man gameplay. That's right. If you like gaming streams, check out Jesse's channel. Link in the description to that. The MMAholes.com. You can keep the conversation going over there. But Jesse, say some last words to these motherfuckers. Don't be an a-hole. Be an MMA hole.